Last time, please, what happened? <laughs> Last time on Beyond Horizons. Let me get the music. <clears throat> Last time on Beyond Horizons, after a year hiatus, I delivered an unforgivably long recap, but eventually I was finally able to shut my trap and the party was able to proceed further inland and discover, at the cost of their sleep, the town of Greyweather on the island they had crash landed on. Along with its extremely overworked captain of the guard, an elf named Redbrand, who, under the circumstances, is just doing the best he can. His best isn't good enough, however, since as Zad and Destiny take a well-earned rest in the morning, well, actually, it was more like noon. The rest of the party is able to tour the town and show Redbrand exactly how many clues he overlooked during his, in his own investigations of the mystery behind this town's sufferings. It was a lot. Naturally, locating a lot of clues takes a lot of time, and after a half a day of a journal snooping and brushes with enigmatic creatures and children, gunshots are heard back at the Altmore Manor, come sundown sending all who are present into a panic. What disastrous circumstance will our party run in on? Let's get started and find out. But first, we're going to wind the clock back just a little. A few hours, in fact. <clears throat> Gotta go back to the past. Back to the past. Zad. It's currently probably about noon-ish. Um... Maybe, maybe even a little later. Uh, and you felt you earlier tried to keep your crab from tearing apart this garden uh, just outside the manor. And eventually you managed to wrestle her down and you wake up I with your crab. I mean, the best crab. way to do that is to just lay on top of her because she likes to feel buried. But then right. you're laying down. And then exactly. you're very tired, and then you exactly. close your eyes, and suddenly it's not noon anymore. <laughs> you uh, you wake up maybe noonish, maybe one p.m. You know, you got here pretty early in the morning, but you know, you 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 slept for a while, and at some point over the night, uh, the the hierarchy on who was on top of who switched. <laughs> but you wake and um. You wake in the garden, and as you do, uh, Septimus emerges from the manor. Didn't looks like he wasn't expecting to see you here. Oh, terribly sorry. Ah, uh, I didn't mean to wake you. Ooh, it's okay. I didn't mean to sleep here. Um, I. Well, okay. I mean, he like gets up. <laughs> After, like Septimus watches Zed have to struggle in, with in the hierarchy with the crab again. She's a strong crab. She's she's so strong. strong. He uh he, he he looks at you wrestling your crab and um he he was like about to get a little closer. But he's like, oh, I don't I don't want to get in on that. That crab looks like it's it, it, it maybe is not in the best mood right now. And he goes, um, you know, we have beds, or at least mats for most people. I, I, whatever you're comfortable sleeping, of course, but uh, I, you know, I, I wasn't expecting to, to find anyone here. It's, uh... I mean, I didn't expect to be here. Destiny, when we got here, um, she climbed over and was trying to eat the pretty flowers, and I didn't want her to, and so I laid on top of her, and then it suddenly was a lot later in the day. Oopsie. No, no problem at all. Um, did you sleep well at least? I hope. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, I had worse sleeps, so I would give the garden a sleep rating of six out of ten. Oh, I'm glad. My daughter will be elated to hear that when she returns. <laughs> Zed actually takes like a little look around the garden now that he's awake. Are these like? flowers that are natural to the area? Or do no. these look like clearly, clearly <laughs> imported flowers? Super exotic imported flowers, meticulously maintained. In fact, you see Septimus has uh, with him a watering can and uh, a bucket of extra water um, as, as well as uh, a little bit of fertilizer on his person. It looks like he, he just came out here to do like the regular maintenance. 
Uh, but, like, not only are these super not native to the area, this is, like, you wouldn't find any of these on, like, an oceanic island, but mm -hmm. some of them, namely, like, the succulents here and, you know, and these palm trees... Well, I guess these would be native, but, like, they shouldn't be, like, next to each other, you know? Typically. You wouldn't even, uh, you wouldn't even find, like, they would fight for resources, obviously. But, nevertheless, they've been maintained. And it's really beautiful. Um, you notice there's kind of a, uh, a little bit of an archway of these, uh, floating rocks. Uh, that, that kind of goes over, over the entryway. Um, there's a nice fountain in the back with, uh, that, that you can sit next to. There's a stone path that goes along. And it's just, you know, it's it's really calm, really serene. It's a nice place. <clears throat> and uh, as and Zad kind of goes about his work, but uh, he um, he seems really, really happy that, that you, you enjoyed the garden. <laughs> or I mean, I can tell you... you yeah, I can tell you and your daughter put a lot of work into this. These don't normally grow in this climate. Well, she's um, a bit of a green thumb. Uh, definitely more her work than mine. I'm just upkeeping it for the time being. Oh, is she, like, away somewhere and coming back soon? Well, yes. Uh, she, he, uh, sighs a bit and goes, she, she was taken, but... I'm sure she'll uh, be back soon. There's, well, it... she'll be back, and uh, he, he continues his work. <coughs> but his hold <old> crab. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I almost stretched him real bad. <laughs> he goes, but you know, less about that uh, sore subject. I'm sure you wouldn't want to be hearing about it. I, I would be delighted if you'd allow me to show you around the manor. I, I I know I only allowed you to get a cursory glance in the morning. You were all very tired, but um, your friends don't seem to be here, so if you'd be willing to accompany me, I could use the conversation. Oh, they're not here? Do you know where they went? Um, They went off with Red ba Redbrand a few hours ago. Uh, I, I'm not sure where. Oh, okay. Well, all right, sure. Excellent. And uh, he takes you inside, and you follow him. I assume. <laughs> I'd be delighted if you allowed me to kill you. Can I get a funny ping? You. <laughs> yes. Hold on. Up. Uh, Shift up here. There we yeah. go. Septimus exits shortly. And um, getting a better look at this uh, place during the day. Um, everyone seems like it's still kind of a sour mood. But like people are doing the best they can. <laughs> you know. Um, and uh, he... Septimus seems almost, like, childishly excited, and he goes, Well, uh, where would you like to start? You, you lead the way. I'll, I'll talk about any room you'd like. Oh, I lead the way? That's the opposite of tours I usually go on. Okay. I find it more fun this way. It's a, a little bit of a discovery, like, like an adventure. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like a turn. Uh, you enter the trophy room and uh, and he, he seems really excited to talk about this one almost like to the point where it's like you think you, he wanted to go here but he didn't want to lead you here immediately <laughs> because this is where he wanted to go <laughs> I mean it was a pretty easy lead and it's the door right there yeah. so <laughs> Ah, yes. Excellent choice. This is my trophy room. Here I keep, well, everything from my old travels. I, I, I was, I was quite the, uh, uh, I was quite the adventurous young man, but I, I, I explored ruins in Arn. I, I saw the, the old monarchies of Frostwin here, and 
Uh, I hunted on the on, I hunted in the jungles of of Sable and ah uh, yes, here he 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 uh, taps this case. My lucky gun, very dangerous, a radium rifle. It has saved my life more times than I can count. You know, it Whoa. is my most prized possession. And uh, he he um, he kind of uh, admires. Some of the, some of these these trophies and cases, and as he does, Destiny gets <laughs> really close to this case. And like, no, knocks no, the no, cover no, no, open no. a little. <laughs> no, 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 no. And... Dad is like, like trying so hard, it's not for grabs, not for grabs. Oh, I'm on. I'm a ruler. That's why. No, she grabs the gun. <laughs> no, no. Swipe, she's got it in her hands. <laughs> no. And, uh, and, and Septimus turns and notices you wrestling with his He's gun. He's so trying to... <laughs> why, why are you so curious about this in particular? She she kind of yanks it in like a no mind kind of way. And, Zad, er, and Septimus comes over. <laughs> he's, he's like, oh, oh. Don't don't worry. Hold on. And he he tries to uh, he he grabs hold of it on your end. He's like, do, do we just pull? How do you handle this normally? But how do you restrain crabs in real life? I don't think it's ever a big problem because they're like hand size. I told <laughs> I told you 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 just, just press okay. down on the top of them and it pins them to the floor. <laughs> okay, if you just make sure. It's Make sure she doesn't move the gun too much. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm holding it. I'm the pressure it. button on the top of the crab. She she like chitters and releases, <laughs> and he he lets out a bit of a chuckle. <laughs> Your crab has taste. <laughs> ah, it's an excellent weapon. You know, if you'd like, I can show you how to fire it later. It's an incredible experience. I'd quite recommend it. Then he uh, oh. actually hands you the gun. Oh! oh are you, you just said this is your prized possession! Yeah, it's it's just sitting here in a dusty old case. I'll take any excuse to, to pull it out. Oh! Is that like, takes a look at this? This looks like... Uh, I don't even think I have any sort of, like, knowledges applicable uh, <laughs> for this it is like, a nice gun <laughs> this gun's nice <laughs> pretty poggers this gun's pretty poggers be very careful with that no I'm, I'm joking I'm sure I'm sure it'll be fine <laughs> onward oh god I've only ever held a bow and you really need to try to use that I've heard you guns are, you don't even have to try at all. You are wholly unsure if this gun is loaded or not. <laughs> Where to next? Or would your crab like to lead? Oh, I mean, Destiny, he says you can lead. Though she might make a beeline straight for the tomatoes over there, if I know her. I am watching what the gods <laughs> control my crab, deem my crab ones. You know uh, your crab very well. Destiny takes a tomato. <laughs> oh, I'm terribly sorry. I'll I'll get you more. <laughs> oh, it's all right. <laughs> you I'm know, sorry. She always goes crazy on Tomato Tuesdays. Tomato Tuesdays are the best days of the week. <laughs> I'm with her. This citizen eats a tomato. Hell yeah. <laughs> tomato can rise up. <laughs> uh, Septimus nods as he passes and they all nod back to him. Ah, oh, yes. Here we have the guest rooms. I believe uh, one of your compatriots took this one. Oh. Okay. He, like, peeks in. Well, not anymore. This is, um, 
You know, we outfitted this room uh, not long ago, actually a, a few a few months ago. Uh, we had a rather important guest arriving, and I wanted to make sure it was nice according to... Uh, I wanted to be the best host as possible. And, uh, I, You're I seeming like a pretty good host to me. I try my best. Just taking a look around. Oh, uh, God. In the, He's in, got more of his adventures. Yeah, you can... Stuff in you here. can so you take a look at this case. These are definitely this is just a bunch of like random junk he definitely took from the trophy room to put here. And it's and like it's like kind of sweet but also super vain cuz he like you know it's cuz he wants it to look nice, but it's all of his junk. <laughs> so yeah. he's decorating it to like his taste. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, I think uh as far as decoration is concerned, some of my best work. <laughs> There's another room uh, just across uh, across the ways on the other side of the, the bathroom, and it's, uh, I, I decorated that one as well, though I ran out of um, items for the glass case, but it's, it's, it's much the same. It's quite nice. Did you also yes. moonlight as a decorator on your adventuring jobs, or is this a mm. new talent? This is a more recent development. Homebody and all, all that. Of, all of the tattoos? Hey, who, who put that square there? <laughs> Seamus. Censored. <laughs> uh, Destiny has been eating this man's food. <laughs> oh, oh. Your crab is a um, menace. You're being a menace. And, like picks her up under one arm and like. D okay, that's the last one. I wasn't hungry, anyways. Oh. She's like looking in his <laughs> bag with one <laughs> hand while holding a crab with the other. Oh. oh. Destiny oh, menacingly I... snaps this carrot. <laughs> <laughs> I, mm, I don't want to leave the crab in the garden, but I don't know where else to put the crab. <laughs> you, 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 we'll just keep the, here, here, hold my hand. Crab, crab. <laughs> he like tries to grab the claw. <laughs> Destiny snaps a little, okay, that's a bad idea. Uh, how, uh, does it have a leash? <laughs> No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> everyone. Everyone. Oh no. Oh no. He's making Destiny. Destiny Every keeps making everyone... an announcement about you. She's just covered in tomato juice. It looks like blood. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he takes the, the edge of his cloak and starts wiping off the tomato guts and gore. <laughs> Everyone, the, uh, one of our newest guests uh, has has a pet, and I, I know none of you, none of you mind. But uh, if if you would prefer your food remain unthieved, uh, I, I would recommend just keeping an eye on your crates. Um, I, I, I'm I'm sure the crab won't harm you. Just uh, close the lids and and all that. Uh, it. I, I'm sorry for any inconvenience. I. There's still plenty of food to go around, and you're you're welcome to as much as you need to restock if uh, if it is taken. I apologize again. And he comes back. Yeah, this should be fine. No problem. Do you need me to? I, I I got some money. I mean, I mean, I no, figured no, you're not no, really please. doing you trade right guest. now. But... You are our guest. I insist. It's no nothing to worry about. And uh, he uh, about he about faces and he goes onward then. Better savor that carrot. <laughs> you better enjoy it. She snaps it again. This is not food. This is toy. Ah, uh, this is enrichment. Okay. <laughs> you notice this guard uh, sleeping out here on this this fellow's bed mat, and I've somehow Ooh. grouped those two icons together. <laughs> 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 and, uh, um, and, and Septimus kind of comes out and he's like, what, what's he doing here? I thought the, I, I thought the guest room was open for the guards. 
Oh yeah, no. Um, some uh, some lady took the room. He wanted to sleep here. I, I let him. Oh, good, good man. Yeah, yeah. Where can I sleep? I guess you can have the room. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> he goes off. <laughs> So you're this... you're having like everyone in the town over? Well, it's Just... it's safer we all stay together right now with um the disappearances. Mm -hmm. And uh my home was the only one large enough, so it seemed natural. And as the Lord of Greyweather, it's my responsibility. This is the study. <laughs> I love this room. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I could spend love hours. it in here. <laughs> I could spend hours just whittling away the time with books. Books and scrolls and tales and letters and... Ah. You know, I taught my daughter everything she knows in this room. And she is very bright. A lot brighter Whoa. than me. Some days the student outlearns the master... Oh, don't I know it. <laughs> it just oh. takes like a, a a little look at the like a glance at the like spines of the things just uh, to see it's... if like, half of them are books of adventure. Yeah, okay. So there's like uh you know, you you see some that are titled like Terrifying Tales of the Jungle and like uh you know you, uh Dr. Eckelhart's exciting expeditions and uh a lot of like kind of old timesy like explorer type novels and then the other half of the bookcase is like a history of the world and uh and politics for dummies and things like that. <laughs> Oh yeah, read a lot of stuff I would read. Please. Well, while you're stay while you're staying here, please, you're you're welcome to come in anytime you like, read anything you like. Uh my home is completely open to you. Moving on. And his mood is only getting brighter as as he shows you his big house. Loves loves <laughs> torn people around his big house. <laughs> There is no shortage of people that he has given this tour to, you are certain. <laughs> the lifeblood of the manor. The dining hall. He flies over here. <laughs> and, uh, and, and these maids bow to him. Good afternoon, Master Altmore. Ah, good afternoon. How is our stock looking? Bad. Excellent! <laughs> Excellent. Just how I wanted it. Let these peasants starve. <laughs> Thank goodness, there was too much good news around here. <laughs> Just, uh... He, 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 like, leans towards the door on the excellent, kind of covering up the bad. Don't let anyone know, okay? <laughs> as, as you wish. <laughs> Zadkill's sure feather, yeah, feather ears kind of flip flip and is like, mm. I'm taking a potato. <laughs> As is your right. Yeah. We work really hard. We work so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Across the way, uh, I'd like to, well, here, let's hold on. We'll come back to that later, actually. Uh, okay. Let's go around this way, yes. Excuse us! <laughs> These two are just making polite conversation. And he's just bouncing up and down. It's sort of astonishing that morale around here is not worse. Yeah. yeah. It's probably in large part due to him. <laughs> Back when we were in the forest, there was hmm. definitely like a lack of animals, right? Yes. Um, yeah, so one of the, Ed so was going you... to offer to like go hunting, but then he realized, oh, 
They have, you... like, no meat here, and there were no <laughs> animals in the forest. I don't think that's gonna be a solution. You remember, um, that No had told- had mentioned to the party that pretty soon after arriving, um, he- he basically felt- he, he couldn't find any signs of life. There was there was no birds chirping or the sounds of crickets or anything like that. But also he felt eerily uncomfortable just in the presence of like the forest and that area. Like as soon as you got out of like the the thick fog that was the booze stench of Bootshiner, it was like immediately totally. There is shift. So, so much of a problem and the genies in Bootshiner are just blissfully <laughs> yeah. ignorant. As always. They're completely blitzed. They like just partying all the time. They don't care. They're they're doing their oh, own thing. Oh, they are hammered. Yeah. <laughs> this is the kitchen. And he walks into this room and I will reveal it. And I wait patiently for the darkness covering my eyes to dissipate. Boom. <laughs> And uh, you see, you see this this guy, uh, this chef, working away at like, basically chopping this meat into rations is what he's doing, uh, mm -hmm. as best as he can. And 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 this other gal who is just sort of checking the stock on like, um, on the on 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 these water barrels and and whatnot. Ah, uh, how's uh, what what's on the menu today, chef? I feel like you've got a decent guess at it, man. It's not like we've suddenly gotten more food. So stew again? Yeah, stew again! Oh. Excellent. <laughs> ah. Cool. Oh. Zadkiel! <laughs> he turns to you. Zadkiel, would you terribly mind helping the chef here out for a bit while, while I go handle something? Oh, um... Okay. It would mean um, the world to me. Yeah. Looking at Destiny, who definitely cannot be trusted to stay in this kitchen while Destiny, Destiny wants enjoy. in. Destiny no, wants no, in no, on no, the no, kitchen. No. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you'll do great. Thank you. This is just a minor thing. And uh, he, he enters this room here. Okay. <laughs> Destiny... What is wiggles. this over here? That is just a decorative plant. Um, there's like it's got some fruiting bodies, mostly flowers. Uh, it's uh, there were a couple of them, namely near the garden. Um, but it looks like so. Obviously, this manor has been completely like rearranged to accommodate all the people here. Um, yeah. So a lot of decorate. There, you can see like a lot of like kind of. Uh, dustless spots on the floor and stuff, or like clear indents and scrapes where furniture and decorations used to be. Um, and actually, if you 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 would would have seen like passed it down here as you passed by, like a lot of it's shoved over here to the back and stuff. Yeah, you and can see night statues. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff, yeah. Um, this it looks like it looks like to you. You would guess that. Uh, Septimus just, like, refused to have these moved. Mm. Mm. Well, if it's the lowered food stocks or the flowers, we have to make sacrifices. Plops Destiny down in the planter. <laughs> Destiny, like, does a little turn and, just, and like, sits down. It almost, like, compresses into, like, her shell. <laughs> it's very comfortable Aww. here. <laughs> oh. Pat Pat. Pat Crab. Yeah, um, I need to go get more water. Yeah, no, always stay hydrated. It's so important. I meant for the barrels, but, like, I'll get some for me, too. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, totally. Yeah, okay, all right, I'll, I'll be back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thirsty bitch, I tell ya. <laughs> Zedekiel makes the whole face when he just went like, oh no! <laughs> he 
he's like offended for her sake, but doesn't know what to say. He feels like he doesn't have a place to suddenly berate this man. So he's just like, so Septimus asked me to help with the stew. So do you need any urgent helping right now? Anything? Oh, um, Chop, chopping carrots, uh, stirring stuff. Um, can you grab one of those bottles for me? All right. He said one of them, so Zadkiel isn't picky. He just grabs one. Yeah, do you just grab one? Bottle grabbed. Thanks. He he takes it and doesn't do anything in particular with it, just sort of puts it down. You get the overwhelming air that, like, he doesn't really need nor want your help. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks, uh, thanks, uh, thanks a bunch for that, man. Uh, so what, uh, what are you, bird? <laughs> Literally does the <laughs> lip smack, <laughs> like... Kind of. Oh, that's great, man. Thanks. <laughs> Tell you so, what. <laughs> the what's going to scroll back out? Gets the jump. Yeah, oh, so what? what? Casually leans like he wasn't just going to leave the room. I think I think there is something you can help with. Here, why don't you why don't you take this pot here, champ? Uh huh. And go and distribute its goods to the beautiful people. That way you're not in this room anymore. Sure. <laughs> it's Super. an incredibly large pot. <laughs> <laughs> that can be your special job. All right. Okay. Don't drop it or I'll be pissed. His special job for a special little bird boy. Thank you. As you, <laughs> as you exit the kitchen, you notice the door here is left ajar. Septimus is nowhere to be found. Um, I would be, I, I would be remiss not to mention that you do have the opportunity to snoop, if you are so inclined. I mean, and... I think he, he isn't like full snooping, but he does, like, poke his head in, you know, like, oh, I Destiny was walks there. in. You know? <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, but I can't drop Curls the up soup, on the, on the carpet. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's okay. That isn't making it. It's okay. Yeah, that's a lot. Gets up, tugs on the bed. Oh, that's starting to make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Shakes this bookshelf. <laughs> oh, that's Not a few books a mess. Place. Uh, uh, puts the soup pot down like over here near this crate of food and goes in oh sweet the soup uh, the, the stew's out <laughs> the oh, people start themselves. gathering oh, oh, oh I did. okay special job done okay <laughs> destiny you can't just shake bookshelves <laughs> I mean, Destiny, you can, but you should. Destiny stops and... shaking the bookshelf, starts shaking the wardrobe. No, 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 no! <laughs> I think what happens now is Destiny goes on a, like, shaken bender, and any snooping Zadkiel does is just happenstance, like, while putting, like, oh, I'm going to put this book back where it's supposed to be. Oops, I saw the secret government details. <laughs> yeah, all right. I I will ex I will t definitely expect that. Um since you're being led around by destiny, I guess I'll do a perception for her and then you can give me one as well. <laughs> yeah, she has a plus 5. Oh, what? <laughs> she has a plus 5. Yeah. She's a very good crab. <laughs> Wow, what, okay. What, did you think the crab did not have a good perception? <laughs> I'm just surprised is all. 
and this is that. leads you around oh awesome beautiful perfect and she's just like really just like whapping her claws on anything she can get she like throws a bunch of papers off of this desk <laughs> comes over here you're not even sniffing them which i'm glad for because that would be property damage but like i don't get it just uh, clear signs of crab rampage under stimulated she wants <laughs> violence <laughs> she shakes this desk here and a few of the um, the shelves get knocked open and loose, and out of one of them, uh, you find this letter. I know how to click the show to players button. I promise. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, I found something. Oh, I shouldn't be. But it's right here in front of me. I found something. Some cavern. What can you do? There's someone down there. Don't send anyone back in. Eat courier. This is gonna take time. Hmm. And I assume you just put that back, or do you pocket it? You're not a thief. You're you're one of the the good outlaws. <laughs> I'm one of the. Well, it's like he's very like he's like Robin Hood esque of uh -huh. like. Would steal from rich people. And, and to be like, fair, he rich. wouldn't be doing that. <laughs> he wouldn't be doing that, but this seems like a extraneous certain, you know? Like, shit is happening right now. This town is not a, in a good way. A bit of punching down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, even though he's rich, it still feels like punching down in this situation. So he doesn't take it, but he does, like, commit the, the like, information to memory. Mm-hmm. So you commit that to memory, and, um... Eventually you are able to wrestle Destiny, and she, like, lo she, like, kind of starts... She'll, like, pick up with her claws the, like, face of this bear rug carpet, and then throw it down, and then she'll, like, do it again. Oh, you're having it, like, a, a rage! You're having one of your rage days! Oh, <laughs> Not a good day to have a rage day. Eventually she loses interest and you're able to corral her out of the the room. And yeah. not the stew. <laughs> like a median. <laughs> not that. And uh Septimus comes comes back around the corner. Uh he didn't see you in there. Mm -hmm. um, or at least you don't think so. And as you do, um, you hear this woman kind of cry out, and she like she she points to the back of the building, and she goes, oh, "It's there! It's there! I saw it!" And um, and everybody and oh. the mood immediately like drops, <laughs> you know, and everybody kind of like turns at attention. And what, what, what is it? What are you talking about? The, I don't know. The, 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 the thing, the monster, the, the, what's taking people? It's, it's out there. It's out the window. And um, this dragon board comes by and he takes, he, he steps closer and he looks out the window and he says, oh, yeah. I don't say anything. It seems fine. I'm sure there's I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Boom! He is grabbed by something, and immediately this wall caves down as he's ripped out. And you see something in the darkness just barely, and it darts away with him. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Immediately, everyone goes into a panic. And Septimus uh, steps forward and he fires a few gunshots. And, um, and then and these, these citizens start screaming, like freaking out, trying to, to get out, get away. And these guards are trying to, to keep everyone calm. Don't run! Don't go into a panic! And, um... And, and it, like, can't be helped. Everyone is, is dashing away. Septimus approaches the, the scene of the attack. <laughs> and he keeps firing. 
and he's just like looking around. Where are you? Come out! Oh, you guys stay together. Oh God. Okay. Um, Zadiel's gonna. Yeah, he's gonna run towards the danger because low in and you know. And uh, I'll just point as people start running up here. Um, you see Red Br- Redbrand burst out the door. He's like out of breath, and he's pretty like like you know he's he's like here like what's going on, what's happening? I uh, I heard gunshots. What's the problem? And immediately he's like swarmed by people, and he's in, in he's like trying to keep everyone in. He's like wait, calm down. No, don't don't run it. Just hold hold it. Stop. And he gets like pushed out as people start yeah. running out the door. And you can hear him yelling outside, calling for guards, trying to keep everyone, like, together. Uh, you hear him at one point yell, don't go into the forest, um, calm down, you know, that sort of thing. And uh, shortly after, the party arrives. And I grab Septimus, or I grab Redbrand on accident. And they, they burst through the door. <clears throat> All right. Uh, we are we in initiative yet, or we just we just go in? No initiative yet. <laughs> uh, anyone else, or is, I'll, I'm just gonna take the leap. No, I mean, yeah, Zad, I think Zad, yeah, I think Zadkiel in that time is going to just like look her like it, it's dumb, but he does want to try and see if he can spot where it went or where it's going. You uh, know. All you saw was a tendril that came out from the wall, wrap around the guy, and just whoosh, tear Yeah, him out. but are there any like footprints of like obvious footprints, obvious like drag marks? Yeah, there's like some. Outside? There's some considerable divots outside, kind of leading towards the coast. Nothing. Nothing is run up. It's just like, what the hell is going on? Um. Well, whatever is kidnapping people got someone else through here. Like he just points to the obviously destroyed things. Just Except now. Yes, just, now. just now. It was here. Straight Except out. Was really... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Except it, it's going towards uh... the coast. You okay? So you look out. No, and it's like there's nothing there. It's like I'm no. I didn't. Out. I didn't say I'm looking. I'm. I'm going out. <laughs> okay. You go outside, you're not gonna see anything, and I'm not gonna move to that map right now. <laughs> no, has left. <laughs> um, Septimus, uh, he, he he fired off all his shots in his sidearm, so he's reloading it. And um, he he's looking around, and he's, he's scanning, and he goes, It's still here. It's gotta be. Come out! And... I'm going to need a perception check from you guys. Let's All right. see here. Perception, perception, perception. Uh, Ooh! Seven, okay. Oh, wait. All that sleep got me good. I'm on a, <laughs> all that sleep do a boy good. Oh! <laughs> yeah, baby! Okay, no, you're coming back here because you you saw it out there. <laughs> I like saw okay, it okay. out there. Yeah, so no, uh, so no, you saw, you saw movement. You saw this thing like go back into the building, but there was no damage. It, it's like it almost basically like phased through the wall. All right, yeah. In which case, no, it's just back in the building, um, and it's just like this thing could phase through walls or something. And what it's in here like invisible or something? I don't know, but I just saw it go through solid wall just solid wall. Uh, technically speaking, uh, something oh, that can go through solid walls <laughs> has no bearing on how visible uh, on how visible it is. Right, because that. that's what we need to discuss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying keep an eye out. <laughs> I have I have my weapon drawn, I think is is you know, needless to say. My uh, I'm. If I can, I'm gonna hold an action of the moment I see this thing. I am just gonna do, like, okay. full on charge attack. I mean, like you and Zag got twenties on perception. I feel yeah, like yeah. you get to be on top of things. So okay. So um, so no, you saw it from the outside. You saw it go into the building. For those of you who were inside, 
Uh, namely Zad, who got the 20. And, um... The rest of us are useless. The rest of you, you didn't quite notice this, but Zad, you did notice, like, kind of a, a, a shape emerge from the floor under here very briefly over over on this side. I think you're on GM layer right oh, now. Oh, I'm sorry. Over, over this way. From, like, below the carpet. So you could okay. easily, like, point, like, towards the center of the room. I think it's somewhere behind you guys right now. Elias turns around. I don't see it. And so, like, I, I'll just I'll gesture that movement. You just kind of saw it go, like, there we like go. that. Well, if it can go through the walls, I think it can go through the floor, too. And Septimus comes this way. And taking the surprise round. That's us. the camera. <laughs> <laughs> you see a tendril jump out and wrap around Septimus for a moment. You are given now our first... So, okay. <clears throat> you have reached a critical moment. I'm going to give you guys a chance to react. One chance. One turn. One action. And here's, here's how this is going to work. This is going to be a thing I'm going to do every now and then, very rarely. <clears throat> there will be every now and then times in the story of prime importance. Make no mistake, what happens beyond this point will affect the course of the game dramatically. So put your heads together, pay close attention, and act wisely. You may end up stopping a war or starting one. Critical moments will last one round exactly. First, a combatant will take a surprise round action. The party will then be given a chance to discuss the best course of action next and decide as a group which one party member will react and how. Don't worry, I'm not leaving you out on the whims of I'm not leaving you to the whims of the dice alone. I will always include an environmental or otherwise available asset that will help prevent moments of disaster. Correctly identifying and using these will result in a plus five to all roles related to the success of your action. If you come up with an idea that goes beyond my expectations, whether or not it uses my pre-existing solution, I will also grant you advantage plus five to any roles related to the success of your action. Be very careful. You only get one shot. Once your full round is once the full round is expended, the rest of the encounter will play as an action sequence per my discretion. Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right, gamers. He's been grabbed. He's been grabbed. <laughs> Who, who's been grabbed? <laughs> Septimus. So there's this long tendril coming from this thing that has wrapped around his waist. <laughs> right. Uh, and we are so so. Tell me if I'm I'm getting this right. We are all now making, we're all now discussing what action one, we would take. Yeah, one per, one yeah. person gets to take one action, but we get to discuss it beforehand. Okay. Uh, Let's go crazy. No, cut Septimus in half. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Can't Maybe steal unless he's dead. <laughs> Maybe if we scream at it loud enough, it will go away. Now, fortunately, screaming's a free action, so we all get to do that no matter what. Yeah. Okay, let's try that. <laughs> There's no first here, so, so <laughs> you get one. I I do I do have a suggestion. Uh, like I'm I'm obviously I you know we can all say stuff. Um, mm -hmm. I have like an immediate idea. Um, I have a spell which is called compel hostility. Um. It takes a standard action to cast it, and it lasts a round per level, so five rounds at the moment. Um, and whenever a creature I can see and is that is threatening me makes an attack against one of my allies, I can, as a me an immediate action, compel them to attack me instead, basically. Oh, you want to try and draw aggro? <laughs> yeah, You want to try and draw aggro, but is it threatening you? No, well, here's the thing, to right? Have that line of it would be getting into position and then doing Yeah, it. so, the so is that long. the exact way that Compel Hostility works is that I cast it as a standard action, and then for the duration, as an immediate action, I can trigger its effect. So I would be able to cast it, run up to this thing, and then theoretically, if it's making an if it's doing anything aggressive towards Septimus, I could compel it. But it's it's kind of a bit of a weird yeah. Like, so like the hmm. movement action versus and standard action combo, like 
it is like you get one action pretty much. Yeah. Um, what what have, yeah, what's everyone else got? Like like a place for it. What's other, I mean, what have other people got? I I was given an incredibly powerful gun. Yes, you that were. I still have, mm. and I'm quite close to the creature, so the chance of missing isn't even that big. <laughs> that's true. So that's my thought of like probably my best action. I also have like like air like a tangling shot, but I don't know if that would work on this considering it can phase through things. So I feel mm. like the gun is probably my better action. Well, I will say this, um, you, you can all see this very clearly, when it grabs Septimus, it, like, kind of becomes more opaque, and it, it definitely is standing above ground and, like, touching things. So what you think it is, is it, it can only make itself, like, uh, in, uh, you know, uh, what's the word? <laughs> the fact that uh, it intangible. is grabbing means it is corporeal right now. Yes, yeah. Now, I, I do have, if, if no one else has got anything, I have another idea, which is that I run up and I use my bone, try and use my bone breaker braces to give it a negative six to strength dex or con. But that would be another run up and action. <laughs> I'm a melee character, bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. Your ideas are good. It's just where you are placed right now is not. Not mm. optimal. No. You will have opportunities in the future, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is on you guys then. <laughs> uh, gosh. Yeah, uh, Soup Austin, any ideas? Boy. I, uh, I feel like I threw my best one out there. Um, <laughs> cut him in half. Cut him in half, of course. Uh, <laughs> my only, my, the only thing I can think of is to shoot it, because I can just shoot it. And maybe yeah. it will flinch. <laughs> yeah, all of my plans would have to involve getting in close. Um... I can cast a magic missile. Destiny can snip. In, w in which <laughs> case... She, she can't, she's not even in range. To sh she'd have to move and snip. Just in throw which... Destiny. In so, which she case... could move and smite so, evil. I could right throw now... a crab who would smite evil. <laughs> So, so it sounds like to me the options you guys are, are, are discussing here is uh, Dyer could should do a ranged attack upon it, or you could use the gun that Septimus gave you, the hunting, the like heavy, the big game hunting rifle that's really, really strong. Yeah, I mean, that seems like a really strong gun. I also have like a variety, like I could try and entangle it with one of my arrows, though with its insubstantiality, I don't know how, like it's... It's corporeal now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, My... you, you don't have proficiency with guns, though, do you, Zadkiel? Yeah, but it's like he's like right there. But he's like he is right, right there. there. And not knowing how to use a gun doesn't make it not a touch attack. True. Mm -hmm. I am open to whatever peeps think is 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 good here. Shooting it is, seems to be our only good option. Mm -hmm. I I, feel I can also like... just like tangling shot Septimus like stay there. <laughs> I bet the, I bet the Septimus gun's really strong. Though. I don't know if you want to get in a yanking match with this thing. To be honest, you <laughs> might get honest, Septimus yeah. torn in half. I'll yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I said. It's a different way. Yeah. <laughs> Austin, where are you gonna say something? Hmm. No, I was gonna say we get into a a a a, 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 a fucking pulling match against it. Uh, <laughs> no, um, so boy, without moving, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we should use the Septimus gun because it because it's a Chekhov's gun. <laughs> yeah, true. I agree. Let's just go with that, then. I was handed a Chekhov's gun, and I can decide to make the trope a reality or not. You are correct. That is the solution that I literally handed to you. <laughs> um, this is a bit of a tutorial, so it's not going to be... But, that's what I thought, but I was also like, but what if we do a little funny way around it? 
Uh, I wasn't gonna. I, I wasn't. Um... I wasn't gonna make this like hard by any means. I was gonna make it a little obvious for this one. So you're gonna fire the gun. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot the shoot the beast with the gun. Yeah. Okay. So uh, did you say that it, it is not a touch attack lamp or that it, it is. still is? It, it is. Okay. It is still a touch attack. Okay. So give me that that ranged touch attack um, with a advan with a plus five uh, added to it. Okay. So I think. I'm doing the math, and I have to do math again. Don't you already have a macro for a ranged attack? It would just yeah, be Yeah, but it's my bow! My bow! <laughs> I don't it's think just it matters. Bow. Right? It doesn't matter, does it? I mean, it does matter, because, like, you're not proficient, so it's minus four, but it's plus five. But, like, we also know that. I'm so. ignoring the my. We'll just say we're... Net plus one. That's fine. <laughs> How about you roll them bones? Hey, your ranged attack plus one. You can handle that. We all believe in you. Yeah! Oh, yeah see? Nice. So did deadly aim this guy? Oh my god. <laughs> so... Okay, hold on. That crits. <laughs> what do you so... mean that crits? It has a crit range. Of like 16 it, to 20? One has a no. crit range of 16 Wait, to 20. Are we not counting the totals here? Oh, no, that's not no, how that's this not. game works. No, it's the flat dice. You count the flat okay. dice. I literally okay. explained this to you already. Oh no, I know. Hold on, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> I think you're thinking, <laughs> you might be thinking of Pathfinder 2, uh, where okay, if I'm... you get 10 above the, the thing, it counts as a crit. Okay, I... I I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> It's okay, there's a lot of crit. games. You don't crit. Uh, but you do hit it. Um, so you fire off the rifle. Boom. And this, and immediately it recoils back and it releases Septimus. Um, start, and it's like a deafening blast. This thing knocks you back damage? like a foot. And you do get to roll funny damage. So go ahead and give me a 1d10 plus 15. Ooh. With my deadly aim, I get to add another plus four! Die, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see that chunky damage? Yeah, chunk him. Chunked him. Oh, yeah, 23. This thing takes a beefy 23 damage hit. Septimus falls to the ground and kind of like regains his his breath and he goes, "Good job, not the lesson I intended, but uh, it'll do." And uh, kind you kind of see him realize something like in he he kind of like uh, see a realization come across his face and as he panics for a moment and that gun knocked it outside. That's where the people are. <laughs> And Septimus uh -oh. hoists his sidearms, and he's like, "Oh no!" And um, kind of gestures for you guys to, to help so him. So I, I to don't like, come on outside. You, like you guys literally are free to move now. Does not even he doesn't even have to start moving towards the thing. This thing, he, no, got to look at it, and that was enough for him to immediately start charging it. So yeah, I don't know about you. I'm fucking ahead of the. I'm ahead of the fucking pack here. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get you all Zach on. Get, get off of his ass from being blasted, but he'll, so he'll probably be out last. Bear with me a second while I set up the next map. Should, only, should not take long. Um, now in a stinking death wish, I tell ya. <laughs> Just fucking... No, right now is just that one family feud uh, meme of the kill, <laughs> kill, kill. Oh, yes, <laughs> kill. How will so? How are we doing? How are we feeling, everyone? Pretty good. I got to shoot the big gun. <laughs> Gone. Well, my rubble on the GM layer uh, went to the bottom, so it's not going to be represented on the map. It's chill. 
<laughs> Shit. Can't happen. sweat it too much. <laughs> There's simply no time. There is simply no time. That is correctamundo. Anyway, yeah, I'm doing, uh, I'm doing all right. I hope you guys are having fun. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. There we go. Um, you guys come out outside just in time to see this thing with red in its mouth dive into the water and disappear. No, you fucking oh, don't! Good one, Red! <laughs> Classic Red Brand! <laughs> red! I'm, I'm fucking in the water. I'm, I'm in there. It's, I'm, it's already gone. I don't care. <laughs> no one's built different, you just have to accept that he's built different. <laughs> He's literally not built different. He already lost in a race to this thing. It's nothing in the water part two. He's built, he's built different. <laughs> nothing is in the water. <laughs> Red. No. Damn it. Yeah. And with that, you get the somber feeling in your gut that... It's taken its victims and gone already. I'll pass. Well, at least <clears throat> now we don't have to wonder what it was. I mean, I mean, we sort of do. What was that? Any theories? I was the closest to it. Did I get to get a good look at it? Yeah, you know what? Because I was close enough to, to slam that guy, so... It was... It was an enormous frog, <laughs> like a yeah, toad. Yeah, I saw the silhouette and the yeah. grab. Yeah, and I was, was like, so all, <laughs> I'm, 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 gonna, I'm just, frog. it's not here, so don't freak out. I'm going to pull out the icon to show you guys. <laughs> it was Fuck. this thing. Oh, get it! Fucked up, fucked up, <laughs> right. fucked here, up ghost frog real. <laughs> and Septimus, like, he, he, he's, like, holding back a lot of rage, and uh, to what was it? He goes, I don't, I don't care. I'm going to, going to see my people. And uh, he's gonna go try and help the guards rein in um, everyone who's, like, freaking out and, like, trying to go into the forest and stuff. So, I mean, I think it matters a bit what it was because that helps people get it. Um, it yeah, looked like I a frog. I think he's just upset. A frog? Big frog? We'll, we'll yeah, it looked, it looked kind of like a really big frog. I got pretty close to it. And I mean, it would explain the water and the grabbing, not the going through walls. That's not normal frog, but... Frogs are also vicious carnivores. Apex predators, <laughs> those guys. They'll even eat each uh, other. They do giant... that. It's no horrible. finally resurfaces, and he is, like, very clearly really pissed off. Just damp and pouting. Yeah, well, this, this is more, like, just... Uh, it's it's definitely less like petty and more like genuinely like kind of angry. Although he does seem a little confused as to why, but he's just like, mm. um, I'm, what is it gonna take to pin that thing down? Mm. What even is that thing? Um, our theory is big frog. frog. Unlike yes. any frog you've ever seen. I was about Working to ask, considering. Theories. Yeah, I was just gonna Some say. Kind of Actually, MCD. you know what? What what kind of knowledge do you have, Nova? You're a uh, learned scholar. I have a knowledge of nature. Yeah, um, I also have knowledge of nature. I if have... that's applicable to pool together, I don't know. do you think I it's applicable as per how this works? Knowledge hmm. history, knowledge geography, knowledge dungeoneering. What do uh, you think will help? I'm I good. mean, mm. I can roll a nature if you want to roll something. I mean, you probably have a better check, but if you think there's another thing, then I can only roll nature at it. 
I'm gonna do a funny planes check because funny voice in my head whispers me things. Fifteen. I'm a wizard. I got them all. You want me to roll on your behalf? I got so much here. Well, I can't think of any frog which would be, I don't know, teleporting, phasing through yeah. objects. Yes. Uh, the voices I'm, I'm... whisper to you much like last session. It is not of this world. <laughs> Hold on, uh, let me think. Let me think. Knowledge of planes. Big frog. Big frog from another dimension. What realm are big frogs from? Ooh, this one. You know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now that you know it's a frog, everything is clear. Yeah. Yes, I it's mean... all it's all coming together. Big frog. Hmm. I mean, there's certainly no shortage of extra planar beings that could be something like this. But, like, specifically Big Frog that goes around terrorizing small towns? That's kind of small potatoes for an extra planar being, though. Mm. Anyone else down to track down and kill this thing? Oh, yeah, no, that was always the plan. Uh, was it now? Uh, well... Uh... It starts to get a little darker. Yeah, sorry if I didn't mention it. Yeah, no, this thing this thing probably deserves to be smeared. Well, we don't all... I find that very rarely do things get what they deserve. Deserve and, is an interesting word with many and, implications to it. And that's what people like us are for. Really? I thought, that I, I thought that people like us were for doing what we wanted. You're dispatchers of justice, then. Sure, if that helps you sleep at night. It doesn't. (laughs) Uh, No, I just wasn't aware. Nova, have you? You you haven't realized yet. I guess no. I guess you wouldn't have. You wouldn't have reason to suspect that these people are all outlaws and criminals. (laughs) I've I've got a theory. Yeah. Whatever, whatever this big son of a gun is. It seems preposterously unlikely that it's from just, like, a coincidence, right? This- someone must have made this happen. Like, this is a- this is a pretty heavy-duty thing, and stuff doesn't generally leave its own dimension under any pretense less than being ripped out of it. Hmm... Zed is thinking, thinking his seven-inch brain has to chew on this a little longer. I I wonder if it has something to do with the refinery. Hmm. Maybe. Oh, I mean, I, um... When Destiny was knocking stuff over in there, I saw a letter that was like, the miners broke into some kind of cavern. There's someone down there. Don't send anyone in. Well, that sounds, uh, what, I'm sorry, uh, whose letter was this? Um, it was, it was, like, sent to Septimus, but I, it didn't, like, have, like, a name on who sent it. I see. Well, perhaps we should ask Septimus, then. It seems that he may have, that he may have more knowledge on the subject than we've been led to, uh, believe. And so why the hell's he been holding it back? A fair question. I mean, he's a rich guy. Who knows? They have all sorts of reasons. Usually, they're mm. monetary. Mm. I mean, he seemed nice and is having everybody in his home. If he was just a mean rich guy, why would he let people just squat in his big rich house? Zad, they always seem nice. That's the whole trick. Nice people are good for two things. Lying and scamming. That's what I've learned. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Sad, a, sl- a sad face. Like, <laughs> like I thought I was nice. <laughs> yeah, and you're great for scamming. That's what he means. I love fleecing you. <laughs> <laughs> I love taking all of your tomatoes on Tomato Tuesday. Sucker. Uh, well, it could be a means of guaranteeing town loyalty in the event that uh, some 
a group of out-of-towners come in and start levying about accusations. I mean, like I said, we're we're gonna do what we gotta. Hmm. And like, uh, you know, no matter what, we're not gonna we're not gonna figure it out just by standing there questioning. And we ideally, can... the angry mob has broken up by not not angry, just like confused, hysteric, not mostly confused, sad. I think. Oh yeah, definitely sad. <clears throat> As if the music turn... is anything to uh to go by. <laughs> what are you on about, man? <laughs> huh? I'm sorry, I just hear things. <laughs> as Nova can canonically hear the soundtrack <laughs> as you turn the corner you see the guards have, have reined in everyone and it is a bustling crowd and Septimus is trying to keep everyone calm how can you guarantee our safety at this point do you even know what's happening here where are we supposed to go we can't just sit around and be wait and wait to be taken I know this is distressing, but please, together we are the safest. If we are, if we spread apart in, in, in a loose panic and just go wherever, you, we'll all be defenseless. We'll find somewhere else to stay. It doesn't have to be the manor. We'll set something up. Please, just give me time. We'll find a solution to this. And, uh, and, and... You know, this guy this guy speaks up and he goes I just don't know if you can be trust if, if, if we can trust you with our safety anymore and they kind of like speak up and rile and kind of agree and argue and whatnot may I may Except I interject? Is just trying to keep them under control yeah sure um you're no, a giant lizard you can always interject <laughs> yeah um no kind of briefly comes around the corner to listen to this um and just kind of what well, comes back to the group a little and goes like um seems pretty occupied as is maybe keep him a little more occupied i've got an idea and uh, i'm gonna walk around the back through the hole in the wall go back into this place and uh find septimus's room and just look for more <laughs> stuff more information <laughs> all right so you are actually going to snoop unlike okay. zad with his yeah. gentle punch <laughs> Interesting. All right, I'm going to move you off the map for now, and you give me your perception. Um, I'll let you know that I don't have any more written clues, but I that doesn't mean you won't find anything. Okay, uh, let me... <laughs> fart three right. times. No, let me roll my perception. Uh... Keep him occupied, huh? Yeah, no, I'll Ooh. try and do that. You know, safety is just an illusion anyway. Like, you're exactly as safe out here than you were in that house. It doesn't really matter where you go. We're safer together, is my point. He kind of, like, gives Elise an eye. There's probably <laughs> a, deg there's probably no, a no. degree of objective truth to that. Uh, not higher numbers, just guarantee... Uh, oh, oh, my mistake. Nova uh, jumps the fence into the garden. <laughs> I mean, he could. Yeah, yeah, he could. I just just hop up on the fence, hop over to this side, uh, then come down. Uh, more uh, uh, higher numbers is a, a, usually a pretty good deterrent for other creatures. That's why packs are so successful. However, yeah, well, not this creature. Clearly, yes, I was just getting to that. Uh, this creature does not seem to care. Uh, that said, uh, it's, uh, Septimus, if we might have a word with you, uh, I think we might be able to get to the bottom of this. Well, this guard comes by. It's all right, sir. We'll keep everyone calm. Thank you. And, uh, there's the, the guards being consoling the, um, the citizens, some of them are just like in shock, you know, just shaking, scared. Um, you, 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 uh, Septimus, uh, come addresses you and he, he goes, So, what do you need to talk about? Uh, well, uh, the uh, creature in question, we believe that there may be some connection to the refinery. Uh, just seems like uh, j just seems like the thing to be what with the large facility out in the middle of the lake that one doesn't often see uh, alongside the fact that there is a large 
amphibious monster eating people that one doesn't often see. I'm not saying that there is a correlation, but just in case there was, uh, how would we go about getting to the refinery? Well, you can go there if you'd like. Um, there might be some trouble there. A few months ago, we, we, we sent the youngest and the eldest to, to the mainland on, uh, on our only supply ship to, um, well, for protection of all the disappearances, you understand. They sent back um, a, a small platoon and a general from, uh, from the commission board to, to come help us, and they've, they've been working the refinery and staying there. I haven't heard much from them since. <laughs> Um, they're there. You're welcome to, to, to go. You, you just need to head east, and you should find a bridge on the, uh, onto the lake, and it'll take you right there. Um, no. As you're going through Septimus's room, uh, describe to me, like, how you're tearing it apart, what you're looking for exactly. Um, or, like, just kind of like what manner you're going about searching it. It's, it's very much like opening books and shaking them out to see if anything falls out, uh, opening drawers and just, like, outright, like, d do, like, doing the whole thing of, like, shaking out the drawer to check if there's a false bottom to it as well. Just, like, right. being comprehensive, just being, like, genuinely pretty comprehensive. I think he's not, he's not aiming to make a mess, but I think he mm -hmm. is gonna end up making a mess. Not anything, like, absolutely ridiculous by any means but i think he's being pointfully like just combing everything he, he's he's at this point not particularly bothered about septimus knowing that somebody mm -hmm. has gone through his shit yeah okay so um for the most part it's a lot of like legally is type stuff you'll you'll see um letters from him to like different uh administrations and important members of of like uh of commission representatives from the mainland, things like that. Um, most notably are two things. As you tear apart the bookshelf, in the back of it, you notice like kind of like a pile of letters kind of crumpled and shoved to the back. And these are all letters from the foreman of the refinery. Um, and it's a lot of uh, the same stuff like on, all along the lines of basically expressing concern about the viability of the um, of the mines under the refinery to get the magelium for for the ships and stuff that uh, they're losing out on yield. Um, there's you know the the vein is running dry. They, they you know they they want to look for a, a new spot to mine for. Um, there's like uh, there's been cave-ins. It doesn't feel stable anymore. There's like uh, basically the foreman of that refinery is very worried that you know things might go like there's going to be trouble if they if, if he keeps mining. Um, it's just not as stable as it used to be, and he doesn't want to keep doing it. Um, and that's that's crumpled away. The second thing is uh, you see a lot of letters from a uh, representative of the, the commission, kind of highlighting the importance that um, Greyweather continue to meet margins and reporting expected um like air traffic to the island and back um asking for uh for updates on on how the um the finances from the commission are being used in fact it's signed uh flip smallville is 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 the guy that he's been talking to um and so you find kind of like those those exchanges mm. yeah okay uh, so you can come back out uh, whenever you like. Just uh, I'll just put you in the back of yeah. the. Yeah. Uh, I the uh, house. No. I I I come out and I I'm definitely going to come out with those letters, basically. Okay. Back to Septimus. Uh, he he goes back and uh, he. I, I'm so sorry, Austin. Where did we leave off? <laughs> I've forgotten. <laughs> Um, we were we were just discussing the uh, refinery and right 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 right. I think the last thing Septimus said was, if you go east, there's a bridge. You can certainly go there and yeah. take a look. I'm not stopping you from doing that. Right, right. Yeah. So you're free to go there as you like. Um, we haven't heard from 
from the from that military outfit since uh, they they ought to still be there. They might know something that could be helpful to you. Well, if you haven't heard anything from any of them, and it's not such a terribly long trek, I would think that you'd have heard something much sooner by now. So, um, well, they're the the general they, need they food, came with their captain. They? they 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 have a they they have a commission head with them. Uh, he's he's a very important member. Yeah. He I've been hosting him. Um, he, I hope he tastes ex- good. he takes food for them uh, <laughs> sometimes, <see>. but um, <laughs> he, he he kind of like scratches his neck and he goes, "Their general casings, she's not the most agreeable of persons. I don't like to." Uh, I don't want to talk to her as much as I, as I, as I any more than I need to. <laughs> All right. Well, I would, th- uh, I would think that uh, given the circumstances, uh, that we should be able to at least find some common ground with her. I'm sure she is probably dealing with members of her own party uh, going missing as well. And now that we at least know what it, what the culprit is, uh, we can. At, we owe it at least a little bit to inform her, if nothing else. Yes, you're welcome to it. Um, <laughs> although I have concerns if if they the the military of the commission if they can't handle this, I don't think anyone can. I need to attend to my people. Of course, so I'll I'll stay here. But you yes. are more than welcome to go. I think we shall. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'll talk to them about it. Where's your lizard friend? Uh, would he remember me? No. I was about to say, oh, you remember him? It's easy to forget that you can't remember him. I... <laughs> he doesn't I mean, make that. a roll, I suppose. <laughs> what's, uh, what's your will save? I have it written down. Is it a will? Save. It it's not really like it's it's more that it applies negatives to a lot of my interaction uh, skills, oh, okay. but it does yeah, specifically state people you. can't remember me easily. I won't yeah. complicate this. He doesn't remember you. He's going to uh, he, he puts his hand out to shake yours, Nova, and uh, and and he goes back to um, to the crowd. And, oh, that's uh, amazing. There is no petty squabble that can. That can um, uh, what's what, what words am I looking for? No, here's what it is. There's no disaster that can stop a petty squabble. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. You think he's just those two are mad at each other and they're not telling each other about the kidnappings and the disasters and then it's making it worse. Completely childish. I love it. I love government. <laughs> Uh, no would have come out the front door at this point, and he has the handful of letters, and he kind of oh that guy again, somewhat <laughs> un somewhat unceremoniously kind of thrust them into uh, Nova's chest just to like you know grab them, for him to grab them, and just goes um, uh, not meeting his quotas. It's the it's the refinery. I'm not smart, but I can figure out that much. We're going there. Okay. Sounds good. Glad you've decided. I have. I reached a similar consensus, so uh, at the very least, I will accompany you. Good. I got nothing else going on. I doubt the rest of us are busy. Anyone? Anyone? Plans? Poker nights? No? I mean, I had a great time sleeping in the garden, but uh, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go to refinery. I mean, I'm not the only one who's forgotten that this is pretty much our only ticket off this island as well, right? Yep. And that's of course I remember. I... It's just I shield all of my feelings in sarcasm. I hear that that, uh, that can lead to medical problems down the road. You know who was? I didn't to hear be me kind. asking. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That was sarcasm. 
<laughs> you know who didn't shield his feelings and sh- sarcasm and was only trying to help? Red. But no. And, and he got to, kidnapped. To him he should have tried sarcasm. Him. <laughs> no, he's dead. I told you, I bet, I bet, if, we ripped, uh, I bet if we ripped Septimus in half, uh, uh, he would have been just fine. <laughs> I don't, I don't know about you that, guys, but I'm heading there now. We don't have to head across the whole map. Uh, yeah, you guys we... are heading east for the refinery? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sweet. God, so you're being, you're being so assertive now. What's, what's going to be in your bonnet? This stupid frog. Maybe that is what it is. Yeah, I, I good. think it's a frog. I'm pretty sure it's a frog. It's, it's just toad. as simple as you don't like the frog. I mean, that's fine, I guess. I just thought there'd be more to it. There is. Oh, wait, that's about right. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, this is a happy music now. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. Uh, this is the wrong map. All right. You guys over here. <laughs> yeah, no, no on the way is, is just like, it's not just that. I mean, this thing is literally stopping us from getting off this damn island. And I don't know about you, but I don't have a whole lot of hopes of, of keeping on the down low when the community is like, what? Sub, like below the three figure mark. I mean, it's always shrinking. You got to keep that in mind. Eventually, it'll just be us. Point is, I'm more comfortable when there's more eyes on other people that aren't me. I'll be sure to look <laughs> at somebody else then. You guys approach this area and you come across this camp of two guards who are currently in the midst of an argument. I've got a question. Yeah, anything you need, man. Uh, it's it's just a real simple one. Uh, a philosophical quandary, if you will. Uh, why choose sand when there is grass? You got you, you got that idea? You, you, you know what I'm, what I'm getting out here? Uh, I have a question for your question. Oh, okay. Yeah, shoot. Why shoot, shoot. not choose sand when given the option of sand? Who because like... sand fucking sucks. That's you... why you don't pick sand. Sand sucks. Sand is amazing. You've never been to the beach? This is like we're camping on the beach. Who doesn't like that? Everyone hates camping, and this isn't a beach. <laughs> uh, it looks pretty beach-like to me. It's kind of a sad beach, but it's a beach. Yeah, we don't... there's sand, there's rocks. Exactly, that's what I'm there's saying. A... Make do with what we have. It's a demarcation line between the grass and the sand. I'd say this is a beach. See, see, these guys, these guys get me. They get me. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I mean, we'll if you like don't want to sleep on the, if you don't want to sleep on the sand, you can move yours like a couple feet over here to the grass. I can't do that because genius over here gets sad when there's no one next to him. <laughs> no. <laughs> Literally just like I... slips behind them. Just fucking ignore him. Just walk right past him. <laughs> to me. As you come across this fellow, we just walk past. We we walk past them, and but but also we we like drive by comments on their conversation. Zedkill is here. Like, uh huh. Tell me more about that. Oh wait 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 wait. We can't let the. Oh, we we're not supposed to let those guys go. Oh no. Sorry. Hey, sorry. You're not supposed to be on the bridge. Uh, Excuse I'm... me. That's a, that's a major no no. Oh. Uh, Excuse me, well, please, please come off the bridge now, please, please. We, we actually have uh, some pretty dire, uh, a pretty dire warning to deliver to the people at the refinery. <coughs> Excuse me, fellows. I oh. can't help but notice that your asses are blocking the entire bridge. Uh, yes, this sorry guy about stands that. at attention. He <laughs> salutes. Ha, ah, Mr. Smallville. Uh, I'm so sorry. Oh, you should be, man. It's okay, though. You know, it is what it is. Uh, just move now. Move now. <laughs> Of course, of yes. course. Here you go. Whatever you need. Oh, you gotta move harder than that, buddy. There's no space. Uh, I'm a little guy. Me. There's excuse no me. space. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Here. Come on, get over here. Come on. And then, and then once you get back on this side, I can take a step forward, and we'll all be on our way. God, I. You know, this is a well-oiled machine working as intended. Uh-oh. I don't have tire and tire. <laughs> tire the whole process. All right, hey, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Eh? 
Uh, you, well, you, you and me, we gotta we gotta have a chat about that. What was that? What was that move? Uh oh, I thought you wanted me off the bridge too. <laughs> yeah, yes I do, but I was going to scoot around you. I was gonna be totally blunt about this one, but then you just had to go and make a whole ass out of the scene, man. What is your deal? What's your I think name? you're making How can bigger I ass about it. I oh, no, no, am no. going to, I literally sigh, I turn around, and I'm going to try and cast Memory Lapse on the fact that Dyer <laughs> blocked him. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that is uh, a will that? save of, uh, 14 needed from this guy. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, no, uh, GM roll says yes. <laughs> As in, yes, I succeeded, or he no, succeeded? No, yes, he succeeds. <laughs> uh, you don't get to avoid the problem like that. Now, look, all, all I need from you is just a quick, I'm sorry, Mr. Smallville, and we can go red as rain, peaches and cream, you know how it is. Dyer looks to the left of her. Dyer looks to the right of her. You could and... also simply <laughs> jump in the ocean. I would accept that. <laughs> Um, would Dyer rather jump in the ocean than say sorry? <laughs> Find out um, next time. <laughs> um, sorry? Sorry who? Sorry to the wind? The dock? Smallville? Smallville? Now I can't help but think that there was something that was supposed to come before Smallville. Again... You make this hard for the both of us. You're involved. making it so hard for me. I, I'm i just, I'm asking for so precious little. Mr. Smallville, I'm so busy. I am yes. sorry. <laughs> well, it's no skin off my nose. Feel free to continue your day, you shining star, you. Thanks. It was easy. It was easy and she made it hard. That's how it always is, right, fellas? Uh, right. Yes, that is how it always is. <laughs> yes, always. Without uh, fail, sir. Yeah, that's right, you couple brown noses. That's what I wanted. <laughs> okay, seriously, we... Uh, uh, Casings is going to be really bad at us. We can't let them go on this brand. Yeah, no, <laughs> you know, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, I mean, it's a giant... Yeah, so but like... we've, we've got a lot of... There's a situation happening in town that we think the general should be made aware of. Oh. So I feel like the general would be more mad about not knowing the situation. Um. Yeah. Give me a diplomacy. <laughs> now, not to. Now, no is just continuing to walk. You can yeah, keep no, doing your thing, you, but you I'm so... You have just gone different. past this. Yeah. It's just whether or not you'll get in trouble afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. You know what? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, what do you think? Uh, it's like an emergency. It's an emergency. I'm sure. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Some one of the guards would have come if it wasn't an emergency. And it, it's it's really important. Now this, I, I get this, that you don't want to get in what? trouble at your job. I get it. I get it. Especially with that guy. I mean, he like, seems a little bit like. like seems a little bit like. You know, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get a look at you. Literally unbelievable. There's no paperwork involved, and yet there's still red tape. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's got a pretty trustworthy face. Yeah, no. He, but but he before just... to win in sad keel smile. He looks truly pinchable. Kind of a kind of a soft boy. I think we should take him. Let's take him. What, take him into the guard or just take him down the bridge? No, like, take him, take him. Because we don't need any soft him, boys in the guard. Take him to casings. If We can't just let them go into the place. We'll take him to casings. Uh, okay, I mean, like, casings will probably, like, swallow a hole or something. But yeah, all right, yeah, sure, 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 sure. You can come. You can come along. All right. Come on. <laughs> Terrible. Dumb. Terrible? <laughs> Terrible dumb? <laughs> Terrible <Idiots>. dumb. <laughs> I but yes, uh, I, I think the sand this... <laughs> does make that a beach. <laughs> pretty, I mean, it's pretty cut and dry. Sand is a beach. I well, mean, not, but not does, does it being a beach make it good to sleep on? Still, I mean, it is oh. a beach. We're not disputing that, but is it oh, good we're to taking sleep the argument on? with us. All right, all right. Well, yeah, I'm still in it. Let's go. Well, well, that would that would be a that's a personal preference. Uh, 
I I don't I, I don't really deal in in subjectives. Uh, I was just saying that objectively, I would I would agree that that is a beach. It's water in your sand, pretty much a beach. Life's a beach, am I right? Laugh track. Is that kill laughs for you? Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, uh, yes, yes, I get. Ah, uh, uh, it took me a second. You guys cross the bridge Whoa. and uh, use arrow keys lamp, and <laughs> these guys come across. And here we have the Greyweather world famous refinery on Cloudstone Island. I'm really impressed. Wow. This, really impressed this bridge didn't collapse, what with all of us on it. It's old. It's really old. Yeah, it looks like it was... Yeah, no, I'm surprised it didn't collapse. <laughs> Given how much traffic it probably received at one time or another, I would imagine that they would have made it much larger. Yo, why are these I mean, rocks like already... Ah, I see you have noticed the natural decor of Cloudstone Island. Well, Magillium in its raw form has a sort of buoyant effect when when exposed to the air and lifts For the love of God, Dyer, the tour's escaping from us! <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear about this! You, I kind of I kind of was already done when they said Cloudstone. I think that's all I needed to figure out. The no, no, it looks over the edge. It's just like, yep, me too. I've checked out after that. Bunch of yeah, barbarians. <laughs> I'm not a barbarian, I'm an orc. <laughs> <laughs> no, guys. Mine... Oh, what this... country are you from, lesbian flag? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the mine was first established here 60 years ago. And the refinery was, bought, was, was built shortly thereafter. At wow. least that's what I'm told to tell people, I guess. I don't know, the casings just gave me a script. Oh, what's the truth? <laughs> <laughs> Probably that. I don't know. <laughs> Look, no, but you kind of got to let go of the idea of truth. Truth as it exists is kind of a relative nothing concept. Like, the truth is what people agree upon being the truth is, you know? Sometimes that is the case, but uh, other times that is demonstrably false. Himbo zoning out, looking at floating rocks while they talk about truth. <laughs> I'm just saying, absolute truth as a concept is largely valueless. Mm, it, I think, uh, once again, it, it depends on what we're talking about. If you are looking for an iota of justice or a grain of equality, then the, you are very, very much correct. Uh, however, when looking at other things like. Uh, for example, a beach is an area that is demarcated <laughs> by sand near water, then I would say that, that there has to be some evidence of truth to that. Uh, otherwise, we, we would just be communicating to each other like animals. There'd be no sense to it at all. That's a beach because we all agreed that's a beach. It's not inherently anything. That's what I mean. Absolute truth doesn't exist. This is hey, now a conversation heads. for no one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, meatheads, what are you doing back here? Casings wants you on the bridge. <laughs> We're giving a tour? <sighs> Just come inside. <laughs> <laughs> All right, off scot free. I tell you, this is a sweet gig. I mean, other it's than not when about you have to, to be. Brown, other than when you have to like brown nose to the guy, or when you're gonna get chewed out by the general. But oh, other than I mean, that, I mean, like brown nosing to Mister Smallville is something that pretty much everybody has to do. Even your friend was subjected to it. Oh yeah, you're right. I don't know why I put him on the GM layer. I need to copy him. Hold yeah, on. you do need him, is the thing. <laughs> Banish. Banish him! He's uh. evaporated the moment he steps on <laughs> onto the... He just turns oh, where did he dust. go? Oh, where did he go? Oh, no! He's there, he's there. He's, he's literally <laughs> right here. He vanished on my screen. I think we both The door him. to the refinery is actually it's a haunted. large green devil head. No! <laughs> Okay. Word of warning. This map is kinda big. Okay. 
<clears throat> I won't immediately drag my icon to the other side of the map. <laughs> That'd be appreciated. So, I will push you guys through the door one at a time. <clears throat> Boop. And boop. There's so much fucking sand in here! <laughs> <laughs> Who cleans there... this place? No one! <laughs> if there yep. were water, it would be a beach. <laughs> <laughs> so, you pass these guys. This girl takes a swig of her booze. They're both very drunk. This silly shit is terrible. You're the one that begged me to go get it. I know. <laughs> Takes another drink. They're drinking the extra dimensional piss beer. <laughs> <sighs> this is a shoddy fucking operation, man. You know, if I was a big frog, I'd be pretty upset about how shoddy this operation is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not a big frog and I'm pissed about it. <laughs> Imagine how he feels. How who feels? A uh, big frog. He seems pretty opinionated. Hmm. Do you know the big frog? I mean, I met him. Uh, it's me, at least, talking, and no one else. Oh, I thought it. I thought this was. This, this no. Was, right. No, those <laughs> were me. Uh, let's see. Uh, this way. Okay. Strange that the carpet doesn't lead in that direction at all, right? They okay. ran out of budget for carpet. No, no, no. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, before we go in... I open the door. <laughs> Does it really? Dead ass? <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. You go in. <laughs> I, I'm directly behind. Nova, yeah, like no, up, no, no, straight up, like puts his hand on Nova's shoulder, and just like same wavelengths, dude. General, <laughs> hey. Samuel is going to patiently wait for the explanation. <laughs> uh, Di, Di, since everyone else has gone in, Dyer decides to join the crowd. <laughs> yeah, at this point, you should just go in, Zed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, no, we're gonna be out of the loop if we just stay out here like sensible degenerates. <laughs> Casings looks up from her from her notes that she was uh, looking over, and she <sighs> sighs and puts a, a hand on her temple. I think the exact words I used were "guard with your life." Were they not? Were they not? Well, sounding from the sound of the conversation, these two have no life. <laughs> so, yeah. so sorry to disturb you at this time. Uh, my name is Dr. Nova Fuscata. Uh, these are my uh, compatriots. Uh, this is a uh, no thing. Nothing? No? Yep. Yeah. Uh, this is Dyer and this uh, Zadkiel and our friend Elise. Oh, and of course, Little Nest. Uh, uh, as I said, uh, or as I was about to say, uh, we are uh, uh, pleased to make your acquaintance, uh, and your guards did a very fine job of guarding the bridge. Uh, she puts her hand up. You can stop there, because now safe. I know you're bullshitting me. It was, <laughs> now... it was very safe. <laughs> and she, she goes, look... I don't know. Zedkill just shaking his head no in the back. <laughs> Look, I don't know who you are. Oh, Dr. Fact... Nova Fuscata. This no. is my friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen. You listen to me now. Thank you for stopping by. Please see yourselves out the way you came. I have enough to deal with right now. Straight yes. up not happening. Speaking of things that, uh, speaking of things that we are all dealing with, uh, we have recently stopped by the little village off on the shore, and, uh, they have a bit of a frog problem. <laughs> would you know anything about that? I would, and I would tell you you're wasting your time. And I'm gonna, exactly. I'm gonna lose it. Uh, <laughs> and 
And in what way would we be wasting our time? Oh, you're all going to die if you go after that okay. thing, mm -hmm. first of all. Second of all, the fact that you're here tells me that you are not supposed to be here, okay? So right. I don't know if you are outlaws or if you're pirates or some other form of criminal or if you're just crazy. Not but an outlaw, but any one of those is grounds enough for me to arrest you, and I don't want to do that, so please... Leave me to my business. I, I do have my papers uh, somewhere. Uh, I, I, regardless, uh, the, the issue at hand is that uh, someone in the village was recently, uh, several people in fact, were recently uh, taken and devoured by this frog. Uh, the, you, it seems like you have some familiarity with the creature. Some is an understatement. It's All right. 23 of my men. 23? And... Oh, okay. And I understand that you have a regular, uh, a, a semi-regular uh, uh, correspondence with the people of the village. I is that correct? I just got booted from the game. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> She's thinking. Casing it's fine. Elaborate. It's not like she is moving. <laughs> Co sorry, correspondence with whom now? <laughs> uh, with the village. With for the village. supplies and things of that nature. Yeah, yeah, you know, um, I did. I did. And um, that asshole Septimus ref didn't give us the information we needed to come equipped, and I lost 23 of my men. So now I'm preparing to leave, and I really don't want to deal with you right now. Okay. Uh, well, it sounds like uh, it, it sounds like there's been a bit of a, a, a miscommunication between the two of you. One that I am not here to uh, one that I am not here to repair. Uh, <laughs> but uh, what I am here to do is see if we can't find an end to this problem. Because with everybody disappearing and dying, presumably, uh, to this creature, uh, we are losing valuable time on what should be a, a means to repair our airship so that we can get off of this island that we very fortunately landed on after we crashed after after there was a, a there was a crash and <laughs> a boat fell onto my boat which was operating splendidly before the other boat fell on it uh, causing us all to fall out, uh, out of the sky and I on, you can't you can't tell that story and expect you to believe it without saying the sky whale's the one who knocked us into you. The well, now whale. I really don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. No, no, no I said look first. <laughs> <laughs> this is going oh, great. Oh. No, you look. <laughs> no, I look. I, um, <laughs> listen, look. I, I, I'm very sorry for your for your unfortunate circumstances. So I recommend that you hunker down wherever you can and you wait for more help to arrive. I I can't carry anyone but my own personnel back to the mainland with me and we are leaving. Whatever right. happens is not our problem. We did our best. Now Whatever's see, happening here, now, it can't be fixed. You don't understand. You now don't. See, There's no fixing this. Now well, perhaps you're in need of a physician. Also, now that now that you're done, see, I'm not a particularly smart person, but I do know that when 23 people die, that's 23 people not on the ship that you came here on. So it sounds like you got 23 people worth of space. You don't understand. <laughs> as soon as I arrive on the mainland with... 23 unauthorized personnel on a military vessel, they all go to prison. How about you just drop us off somewhere else? Don't have the fuel for it. We're barely scrounging enough as it is. Hmm. Now, I don't have to explain myself to you any further. Pirate. Wait, wait hold on. I have a thought. Hi. Hi, Elise the Chance. How you doing? Um... Just a quick consideration. Uh, if you guys are going to be completely abandoning this operation and just just scooting off all on your lonesome, 
is it fine if we look around here, since it doesn't matter anymore? You know what? I don't care. Do whatever you like. I don't, love to hear it. Just don't bother me again. And these two Warforged step forward and kind of flare up. Yeah, no, sure, absolutely. No more annoying you. By the way, there's sand all over your carpet. It's definitely ruined. <laughs> no, 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 just mutters under his breath uh, as if I haven't destroyed like half a dozen of those things already. <laughs> Uh, you destroyed the really rusty, banged-up ones. <laughs> no, doesn't dis <laughs> no doesn't have a distinction. I killed one, I can kill one million of them, it's fine. <laughs> just to be clear, uh, j j just so I, uh, for my own personal edification, uh, you're not pirates, are you? I'm a tailor. No! Well, great. All right, let's get going then. Uh, Technically, we are not pirates in this <laughs> We've never done a single pirating action of any kind. We got knocked out of the sky too fast to do any of that. She seemed like a real peach, absolutely hated our guts. I think the word you're looking for is bitch. Right, uh, a real bitch. I'd be a bitch too if 23 of my boys got killed. To be no, fair. It's, it's I mean, that's fair. Reason. It's just the truth. <laughs> I mean, it seems like, again, the petty argument then, oh, I think that guy did it on purpose, so I'm going to let his entire village get eaten by a frog. And Are I'm there? going to tell you all to get eaten by frogs. That's bureaucracy for you. I'm a yes. bit out of line for that, but it's not our business. <laughs> There's that pesky truth getting in the way of things again. Uh, <laughs> Well, we were given begrudging carte blanche to poke around, so let's get poking. I agree. Well, we were. Great. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. why we're moving south instead of north. <laughs> <laughs> and I, for one, love seeing what's on the other side of doors. I bet it's sand. I was supposed to change this music, and I didn't, but here it is. <laughs> From the look of it, there is sand leading into the door, so I you guys, bet you're right. Enter this room. It uh, seems to be some sort of storage area for the refinery. It's got it's lots of It's where they keep equipment. the sand. <laughs> I think they keep They're... the sand everywhere. <laughs> well, then this is no exception. They keep the sand here. Hmm. Yes, barrels. And <laughs> barrels. These are massive vats. You assume it's to kind of contain refined material. It looks like maybe a replacement for the factory floor. <laughs> yes, for sand. Somebody spilled all over the floor like an ingrate. <laughs> so, worst case scenario here. Uh, not a not an expert of engineering here, but I do know enough. If we could just like. I don't know, scoop some spare parts laying around, I might just be able to fix the ship and we can leave without solving this problem. I oh. don't plan on doing that, but worst case scenario, you know, rubber hits oh. the road. I didn't realize that was an option. Why aren't we doing that? Uh, because the ship was already barely working to begin with. I can't scrap stuff there because there's nothing to scrap. Well, sounds to me like we can grab stuff while we're here, and if we get to kill a big frog, well, that's primarily what I want to do. Oh, you've made that clear. And again, they, they, they're clearing out. They clearly don't need any of the rubbish lying around here, so, you know, carte blanche. Here, yeah. let me move the fake fog of war for you. CRPG open. Uh, Yo, CRPG a little, a little bit too much. Oops. Put that back. <laughs> You did a very bad job with this one. <laughs> Whoa, this door, <laughs> oh I, I, there's some kind of invisible uh, dynamic lighting barrier in, in front of me. I see what? it. I see it. It's, it's right there. Look at it. it. It's tearing up a part of that wall. I can't. Wow, these are I the kinds of mistakes that don't happen when you ask Lamp to help you. <laughs> I can't move through the door. You, you can't? What? I yeah, can't. that happens sometimes. Yo, yo. I can't. Yo, oh my I god, there is a dial the oh, I, I, I don't know how to get rid of this. <laughs> well, just... we'll, we'll look at... It, 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 go check that room out right for now. us. And we'll, we'll just... Okay, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just 
just look and point at the thing that you that we want you to look at for us. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> just like a fucking point and click character with way too much commentary. Except it's one of those point and click games where it's more like point and suggest because sometimes they don't do what you say. <laughs> Yeah, Pac-Man, Pac-Man 2 on the SNES. Exactly. <laughs> oh, love Pac-Man. <laughs> or hey, you so, Pikachu, and we can only communicate with a shitty mic, anyway. Yeah, so what's going on here, man? So, in this room, just at a cursory glance, it looks like a lot of it has been, like, emptied out and kind of ransacked at this point, but... Um, this is just, like, another section of the storage room. This is mostly for, like, hand tools, some weapons. Um, there's uh, a couple of... You, you see these, like, armor stands bearing, like, safety equipment and, um, like, in certain uniforms and stuff. All of this is for the workers of the factory. So this is, this is like, just for, like, spare equipment and, and essentials. Hmm. Nothing scrounge-worthy, though, I bet. No, it's been pretty thoroughly scrounged. Um, but, uh, pretty, like, just, just kind of like at a closer glance, you can notice that, um, whoever tore this place apart, like, of, of the stuff that is missing, the vast majority of it is, like, the digging equipment that you would use in the mines. Hmm. Mm. I mean, that is that is probably the most valuable stuff. Probably the most important stuff. Right, but like at a place like a refinery, you would expect there to be many spares. So either someone took them to use them, or someone was trying to get rid of them because there are basically none. Hmm. Uh, just on a whim, uh, No is going to just, like, use the the tip of his weapon to just, like, knock on different parts of the floor in case there's a trapdoor under this carpet. There isn't. Cool. Done here. <laughs> <laughs> Destiny is in the difficult. barrel. Sometimes. Destiny has climbed in the barrel. That's <laughs> enrichment for today. <laughs> Well, all right. There's a that's a strike one on that. There was no no helpful materials and no secrets about Big Frog. Yes, uh, mostly just mining tools, which uh, I will uh, open barrel and uh, insert all of them into my inventory, so that I can sell them for, for parts later. <laughs> for our ship. Okay. I don't think there's going to be a lot of mercantile going on here. I think we're just going to be scrounging. <laughs> well, but that's hey man, fine too. Hey man, we if you want to if you want to do some lifting, I didn't see it. You can tear it all apart and then use it for crafting. There's crafting mechanics in Pathfinder, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, but you got to take feats to get them and it's Oh, like, fuck it. I drop everything. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have those feats. Give me. Oh, uh, take them. Take them. By all means. <laughs> You guys. If you see... wasted your levels on that. Love meta commentary. <laughs> you guys see casings exit the office and head up to a different spot in the building. Ah, uh, we'll be there soon. Ah, uh, she'd be <laughs> furious if we snoop through her office. <laughs> no, <Nova>. Look, I I want to get off of this island. The frog thing kind of put it in my head that I could very realistically die here, and I don't want to do that. This place is terrible, to be quite I honest. Did not take you for a rascal. Yeah, by all means, go, go. Yeah. All right. Go on. Go grow up. I'll, I'll just go. You not do that. I'll. Um... I'm, right. I'm I'm helping. I'm one thousand. I'm looking at the map. Oh, the eyes on the map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys could describe to me how you are searching the place and give me some perception checks. I feel like probably I just did. Not, like, <laughs> probably not rough it up like you did with Septim. Oh no! Yeah, not gonna. Dyer is going. 
Dyer is going to keep watch, and then the moment she hears any roughhousing is going to go in. <laughs> no, we're, we're, we're not gonna... We're, I, I, I'm not intending to, like, rough anything up here as well. This is just mm -hmm. regular looking through things. Ooh, thank God it wasn't scary. that one! Ooh, close, close, close. Okay, let me see... What's the DC on this one? Mm -mm. Um, okay. I'm gonna use my spell, find everything in here. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, good um, spell. Okay. <laughs> so from from those rolls, you don't get a clue, um, but from Nova smashing his eyeballs on the paper, um, you can see she's marked out uh plots for the um for the flight uh back to the mainland. And she's uh noted a few like um a few refueling stops just on like little short basically remote uninhabited islands along the way it's a bit of a journey um but but that's can... insanely valuable to us we have no maritime knowledge yeah no like it's it's a very clear and most optimal route with the fuel available in this refinery um what you uh what you see noted on the maps at all is that the the fuel is so limited that she has resorted to using these things on her desk here, which are uh, these, they're kind of like these uh, small tetrahedrons of, that are just filled with, with uh, uh, cloudstone or mygelium, or some people just call it cloud. And basically, they're kind of like, um, you know how some people would carry like, a, like an extra gallon of gas in their truck mm. uh, to, if, if for like a, for like a pickup or something. It's that, but for like really small uh, merchant ships. Uh, so it's just like a, a, a little thing that can get you going and where you need to go within like a reasonable distance. So basically what you can tell is she's grabbing as much of these as she can and just planning to like hop her way back to the mainland. Because her ship is much bigger than, uh, uh, than what these would be technically used for. Fair. What does my snooping find? <clears throat> Your snooping doesn't turn up too much, but you are able to to notice that she's kept track of all of the, the um, uh, soldiers who went missing, um, and she was cur she was briefly drafting a letter back to the mainland to her superior. Um, basically uh, begging for forgiveness uh, on the, the failure of her mission and explaining the situation. Mm. Mm. Uh, if anyone else wants to come snoop... What, what was her mission and what, what, uh, what, what failed? Um, so you heard from Septimus that she, that Kerrigan uh General Casings is here because the people that they evacuated initially months ago um, on their only uh, trade ship sent for help on the mainland when they got there. And General Casings and her outfit is who was sent to go handle whatever was happening here to investigate the disappearances and stop them. So, assumedly, that was her mission. I see, I see, I see. And she's pissed at him for not giving her the full she... details, but he didn't even know the full details. Yeah, right. He was just like, help! He was just like, help! And she's, and so she, her pride is wounded uh, because she couldn't solve it, and so she believes that it is unsolvable. Yeah, it noted at the bottom, like, reason for, for the reason she gives for, for having to leave is she just doesn't want to lose anyone else. Mm-hmm. Super fair after twenty three. No, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Twenty three. Yeah. I, I a little. Wa I would have called it a wash at thirteen, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> Ten. Ah, uh, fuck it. <laughs> Ten. Ten. Maybe this maybe, wasn't my fault. Maybe we can. Maybe we could put this back together. But no, thirteen. I think is a fair. Is a fair. Pack it up and go home. Number. Uh, let's see here. All right. Hey, well, hey, Lance, I've do you seen think everything. Elise would want to snoop a bit. Um. With I her mean, super high perception number? 
<laughs> I mean, her perception's okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure, why not? It, but it looks like it looks like fucking what's her face isn't coming back. All right, yeah, no, we can just do full snoop. All right. Oh, you know, if we get caught, we're all in, in there. Snoop dance meme. Exactly. All right. Let's let's go. Ugh. See, I I may as well not even have bothered. <laughs> no, it's literally just enough. <laughs> oh, I was one off. I see. Cool. All right. <laughs> okay, so you find on um, kind of like on the uh, on the un, uh, right under this this thing right here, a little bit singed and burned and crumpled, is a letter of gratitude addressed to Casings from Septimus. Oh um, boy, a letter. We find a lot of these. So you, you get that, and <coughs> you also uh, you um, you also notice a couple of other drafts that were that were in there that were were a little burned up for the letter she was going to send to to her superiors, and it, it, it has a bit more information. You you can't make out everything, but some of the scraps mention things like. Um, she she initially sent in like a uh, a two team like five person or a, a two team ten person task force uh, on each into the mines to kind of uh, to to do a cursory investigation and uh, and pincer attack. None of them came out. Um, mm. She uh, she's been holding up here for as long as she can, scrounging scrounging fuel. Um, there have been attacks since then, and she has just been wholly incapable of of defending her herself and the members of of her outfit. And for the first time in her career, she is she doesn't know what to do. I see. And that's what happens when you fumble the bag. Now I have this letter, and it's my right in this campaign to read it because I found it. <laughs> All right, General, I am elated to hear that you have accepted an assignment sh to shift your unit to Greyweather and aid us. It is an honor to be hosting both yourself and Mr. Smallville. Gag me. We don't have much as far as accommodations are concerned at the moment, but please don't worry. I'm more than willing to give up my own bed in exchange for the help we need. That's the truth. We lose more people every day. Please hurry. Graciously yours, S. Alder. Wow. Well... Well, that, that seems to line up with uh, with our understanding of Septimus's character. Yeah, it certainly does. Also, she left a gallon of gas on the table. Take it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you. Uh, I guess you do. <laughs> you don't leave a gallon of gas just on the table. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> no, especially not in your office. Uh. <laughs> this you wager this is probably not hers. This would have been the foreman's office. Well, and, now and, it's ours. Yeah, it yeah no, it's it was my office for a few moments. <laughs> <laughs> Again, truth is relative. <laughs> let's see. All right, let's uh, let, let's get going. Uh, it was o it was only started. her office because people agreed it was her office. Yeah, exactly. That office belongs to the people, specifically us. <laughs> so, okay, the I'm gonna go through the door. Okay, so you go through this door, um, and you see it this room. Whoa. Whoa! Mm -hmm. That's not what I expected. There's no sand. Green! Who walks in first? Well, Zed, you open the door. Destiny. Oh, Destiny. <laughs> Destiny. Destiny crawls in and goes into the water and turns around and looks at you and starts to glow and... <laughs> For a second, you think maybe, like, her shell is peeling off, but there's just, like, a layer of dirt that's just removed from her. Oh. And just kind of, like, evaporates into the air. Oh, my God. I don't know if you know this about my particular, uh, my particular <laughs> people of, of Venara, uh, but I get in this and you can't stop me. <laughs> oh, you're, you're cleaned so good. It's mm -hmm. warm. It's pleasant. It feels like it cleans you down to your soul. Uh, Nova, would you like to give me some kind of knowledge check? Arcana, perhaps? Or perhaps nope. history? <laughs> no, I can give absolutely you history. not. <laughs> I'll give you history. Arcana, nope. History, yup. 
<laughs> just Arcana, fuck off! <laughs> Sorry. You know what this room is. Um, it's a bag. Yeah, it's a bag. Uh, you you wager that this is a decontamination room. Uh, now this is necessary for refineries specifically uh, because Magelium is only uh, is only able to be refined into like a usable form by basically grinding it down into a very fine dust um, and then applying massive amounts of heat to it. Uh, and if you know anything about factories, if you have a lot of reactive dust in the air and you put heat to it, it can create a dust explosion. So typically you don't want things that are reactive other than the thing you are trying to burn in there with you. So this is to get rid of like those particles like dust and dirt and stuff for people who would be working in the refinery. So with that, you can also gauge that to go further, this will take you like into like the factory area most likely. Now I will mention there are other doors in the th uh, and rooms in the foyer that you have not gone to yet, if you wanted to go there first. But we're going in this direction. <laughs> you can go in that direction too. I just wanted to point it out. <laughs> I'm sorry, Novi. Your hard, your hard math making work will go unnoticed. <laughs> and that's just the way it is. Elias washes her hands in her face. Man. Just, just wondering here, Dyer, quick logistical question. You're not gonna actually, like, combust anything while you're at, in here, are ya? What, why? Because you're literally on fire. <laughs> Your point. <laughs> Good place I, for I a mean, bath. It's just a concern. Uh, I can feel my concerns washing away, and I can feel the the... the just, just As of so note, Dyer doesn't know what this room is. <laughs> <laughs> Elise, as soon as you step outside the kind of magic circle area, you immediately dry off. Oh, that's fun. Okay, Dyer, Pumpkin, you're gonna need to, you're gonna need to wash your hands in this. <laughs> Why? Why? It is necessary as to not cause a volatile, volatile reaction that will give us all mesothelioma. <laughs> I know a, I, I, I know a good lawyer you can talk to about about that if that happens. I'll <laughs> I won't question it any further. <laughs> the dirt is removed from your skin like a it erodes like a away. Worm. <laughs> eh, funky. All right, whatever. You'll hardly find a better bath than this. Your skin feels weird because it's it hasn't been this clean in a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> living with I hemlock, didn't even like know there was a living leaf with the hemlock. Yeah, <laughs> living with hemlock has not aided the best to like hygiene. <laughs> so hygiene is, is secondary to results. <laughs> Zed kill. Zed kill goes into the bath. The the. <laughs> Feathers disappear because they yeah. the they do just glued yeah. on. <laughs> I always thought I was a bird person, but someone just played a prank on me when I was a baby. Mom. And I never washed since. Sorry, Zach <laughs> Kill. You've been Truman showed. <laughs> I mean, if it was going to happen to any of the crew. <laughs> yes, right. tell me what's in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hey, just I'll be a moment. <laughs> uh it's a big hallway. Big the ominous I've ever seen. Yeah, big hallway of two doors, two upper doors. There's no sand. Pick a door and then come back and tell me what's in that door. <laughs> I wonder where the sand wind said Zad Keel as he came out of the purification chamber. <laughs> Look, he has a, a negative int mod. He gets to be like this. Takes in a big gulp of, of clean water and like spits it out. It all does over a his weird face. thing to your insides. <laughs> yes, I know. It clean. cleans them. <laughs> Doesn't feel right. The colonies yeah. of microorganisms in your gut probably don't appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> no, they probably don't. <laughs> you, he's gonna you stay become, here a while. You, Nova, you become partially a new man. <laughs> <laughs> you 
if you uh, if you uh, clean uh, all of the molecules in your body, are you the same person? Ah, uh, yes. A real the... ship of Theseus situation <laughs> there. No, this is just the Theseus situation. There's no ship this time. <laughs> what did you do to Theseus? If you replace Theseus, is that still him? <laughs> <laughs> Well, this hallway just seems unnecessarily long. Yeah, no, it is. It is fucking massive. Like, even if the even if the room on this side of the door is is just gigantic, it still would have made more sense to just put a door over here. You can have two doors. You can yeah. absolutely have two doors. The architect was a moron and should have asked for help. Well, let's the stop theorizing and, and open the fucking door. <laughs> Which door are you going through? This one. What does it look like? What's the bet on an even bigger hallway? <laughs> oh, hey, it's a pretty damn big room. You weren't wrong. Well, no, see, because, like, why would well, the still symmetry... put a door right here. No, nah, right. nah, see, because, like, the That's symmetry of the two fit. torches right yeah. there, they, they couldn't have put the door right there. Mm -hmm. They yeah, could so absolutely so. have put a door right there. I don't know anything just... about refinery making, so I think you guys are being mean to the architect. <laughs> Damn, I'm being mean, mean to, to the architect. You, you think for a moment maybe there's a reason that you're not considering why this hallway is long, like maybe the building needed to wrap around a large area or something. The and that's why there couldn't be another door. The, ar <laughs> the architect could have just wrapped himself around. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna check yeah, what's in sorry, here. I'm sorry, that's not what I was trying to say. Okay, I just... that's gonna lead to another map. Just to be clear. <laughs> oh, I was what this door? Well, yeah, that door will lead to another map. Okay, I guess I'm in here. There's so much to explore. See, these stairs are about as wide as the bridge should have been. <laughs> Everyone except No can squeeze through this gap. Yay! <laughs> this is bullshit. Sorry, no. <laughs> well, not Destiny either. Well, no! Destiny doesn't want to go there. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, Elise, tell me what's over there. <laughs> well, you just can't be bothered? <laughs> well, I, I don't want to get dirty. <laughs> we I literally gotta... can't leave this building without passing through the decontamination room again. Oh, you're right. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I love Nova. He loves who is to be clean. He loves to be clean. Just loves being in the bath. All right, what are we so, working with here? This is an engineering section. It monitors a lot of like different pipings. This is all just to pump, um, probably just to to pump my julium through the building. This is a control console that lists. Uh, kind of the status of like this big um, filter. Uh, it shows like pressure and uh, and, and, and like uh, toxicity, things like that. And then this uh, is just a, a box of tools with just maintenance equipment and that keeps all this stuff running. A box of tools and maintenance equipment! <laughs> yes, you could take that. It would definitely help you with your shit. They don't need it. They're leaving. Yeah. <laughs> Hope, their, hope right. their airship turns out okay. Speaking um, of which, we should try to find it and sabotage it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they probably have lots of parts on there. No. Ignore that, me while I that, move wait, why this don't we just steal torch their with their a ship? really big hitbox. <laughs> yeah, by all means. Why don't we just steal? That's a great question. I guess the reason would be because... Oh, that I, would make us pirates, and I... Yes. I don't uh, but do more that. importantly than that, I already worked so goddamn hard restoring the first airship with a terrible name. We're keeping it. Oh, what, what was the name? Mm, uh, let's not worry about it. <laughs> the saber gets... And then he gets gagged. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what are people okay. talking about over here? I was wondering what the name of your oh, ship you know. was. Oh, you know. What was that? I didn't catch. What, what, what was Nova saying? Uh, here, here, let me come over. Nova, 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 it's a bad name. You don't want to hear it. Oh, no, I, I, I'd like to hear it. I think it, it can't be that bad. It's your choice. <laughs> all right, all right, Zad, I'll let you go. <laughs> it's called the Saber Cat. Saber Cat, no water. <laughs> what? Clueless. 
I try. I try. I try to warn. Oh, you. you're asking that. about the saber cat? Saber cat, no water. <laughs> I that he's got. That is these the guys. worst name I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> these guys <laughs> really love it. That's awful. These, that's that's I think, truly I think it's unique. It I, sets yeah. us apart. No, it's super He's not unique. good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> If well, not, people not always I would call it the journey. <laughs> people always got problems it, with the saber cat, saber cat, but it wouldn't have happened if we just called it the saber cat like we wanted to. Who insists you know, on adding another saber cat and no water to it? <laughs> Everyone looks at no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was us too, you know. <laughs> oh, uh, right it's... then. It's a whole stupid thing. Uh, uh, side note, I'm almost certain that this discussion came up already. So, you know, no probably just canonically mind wipe Nova. Just like, no, undo that conversation. We can do better. <laughs> oh, all right. I didn't know that we had already had this no, conversation. No, I think it's I had mind wiped have it my, again. I had mind wiped myself, it seems, <laughs> over the course of last, uh, last night. I hate uh, people who are binge watching this now and <laughs> having this conversation twice. Hello. <laughs> Nova got really blitzed Hi, on it's been a year. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a year for us, but for you, it's been like a minute ago. <laughs> uh, oh, oh boy. Uh, all right. Well, uh, do we want to go downstairs or do we want to go into the next map? Ooh. There's also more of this part of the map. Well, we're <laughs> already down here, Navi. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I can just run back there super quick. I can just no, speed no. run it. Let's not let's not break up the flow. You right, are hold, correct. Hold on, there was there was like a there was like a note right that said something about like hitting something in like a mine. Mine is down. Yeah, that's true. Yes. But but in all fairness, I I sincerely doubt that that goes all the way down to the mine, else this door would be larger to accommodate all of the workers who would need to go through it uh, at, at the given start of shift time. Unless right, that, the, so now you're putting faith in the architect. No. Well, no I, <laughs> Whoa! That door's way bigger than I remember. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, that's the perfect size door. Whoa, these so stairs must right lead down to the mine! It's a little weird that it's right next to this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. All right. Uh, do we want to go down now, or should we go down as we're as we we wrap up up here? Um, I guess we could go down, or alternatively, if there's an airship we want to poke through, you know, <laughs> uh, it's probably well, gonna be up here. I, I, we tend not to keep them underground. They don't do no, well that'd there. be a bad spot for him. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I choose the other one. Let's go up here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Everyone get to a place and stay there so I can copy you. <laughs> sure. Smile. Okay, okay frown. <laughs> also, just to clarify, also just to clarify, these maps are very good. We're not actually. No, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I, as much it's as it's okay. Hate, no, this is really funny. I, it's okay. You can. You can it's just hazing. It's me. just how it happens. Oh, Whoa, I moved Ooh. it. Oh, okay. oh, good call. <laughs> Oh, they're not gonna miss anything! <laughs> Is it just me, or does that does that ship look a little out of focus? <laughs> it's because uh, it's I, so big. It's the, it's the oh, hold on, yeah, my, I think my glasses, my glasses are messed up. <laughs> I think, right? It's just, it's so, it's so shining, it's so glorious, looking directly at it hurts. It's like it would move, like, at 12 frames per second. <laughs> You're right, this hurts to look at, let's go back inside. <laughs> Alright, well, now that we know you what's have hurt the ship's feelings, and it takes off. <laughs> <laughs> Can 
come back. <laughs> no, come back. We were going to plunder you. Maybe when it comes back, it'll be in focus. All right. Does it seem like the ship is manned at the moment? It is not. We could totally oh, no, we go could... on there and steal some shit. We could just take whatever we want from there. <laughs> is that... Is that really what we're doing? <laughs> Look, it's a matter of simple necessity here, Dyer. Like, I'm not gonna take their... I'm not gonna take all of their necessary, like, pipes and shit. I'm just gonna take stuff that they don't need, that we do need. Our ship's gonna be broken even if we fix the frog problem. This is the way we fix that. Hmm. By making this ship our ship, our ship automatically becomes much better. <laughs> <laughs> I will also say, Elise, you know what this is. Um, this prevents people from getting onto the ship from the bottom up. It's kind of like this big wall of light. Getting near it doesn't hurt or anything. It just like the closer you get, the more it applies force pushing you back. It's like a, it's like a really big fan. <laughs> Sneaking out um, there will prove to be something of an issue, though. You could, you wager, it, it probably does, you probably could get on via, like, roof access. So, would the speedrun tech of running towards it at full <laughs> speed and then automatically turning around and running the other direction, would that... <laughs> Would that counteract the force at work and push me onto the other side? No, but like, you are having an epiphany? You're having an epiphany. Give it a shot, man. You got this. I'm going to climb up here. That would be... My climb speed. And uh. I'm going to start messing with these switches. <laughs> Oh but my god, god, he's brilliant! Also, also this card stealth. does not stop you. <laughs> <laughs> he is playing cards with this Warforged. Mm -hmm. Dyer, looks up at, Dyer looks up at this. Again, is this really what we're doing? <laughs> you mess with the consoles. It, uh, he he, made, a, he made a deal about not being a pirate. Do you think he's a pirate and is telling us that we're pirates to smoke bum that he's a pirate? Because I think he's... he's I think he is desperately he... wants to be a pirate. <laughs> I, think, I think he's a normal dude who just got his first taste of crime and is in his overindulging. I, I snuck into an office and looked at things I wasn't supposed to. I'm an addict! <laughs> <laughs> Light snooping, not even once. <laughs> So right. tell me exactly how you're going about this, Nova. Yeah. I'm going to lay down. I'm going to crawl on my belly over to this panel. <laughs> and oh my I, god, he's he's high off of it. I but see. I, I see that some ex that to some extent it operates this crane thing. Yeah. Can I, yeah so I assumed you already did that, and it, that's why it rotated. Fair. I can put it back. Yes, that's fine. Uh, can I, uh, can I tell, is this crane thing specifically for getting things over the barrier, or is it just for putting things on the ship? It, to you, it seems like it's putting things on the ship. It's going through the barrier. Interesting. Let me, let me try something. I'm going to do a little <laughs> bit of science. I'm going to climb up onto this thing, stealthily, <laughs> and I'm going to try to crawl over and see if see if I, I meet the wall the at all. The closer you get, the harder it is to hold on. <laughs> okay, no problem. No problem. Alright, I hop down. <laughs> Zed was gonna catch him if he went whoop. <laughs> We've got some arbalists over there. We've got some crates. Hmm. And then on the other side, we've got this, a similar machine. Okay. <laughs> I've got an idea, but it might kill us. <laughs> <laughs> I, hop down, I hop down, and I'm going to begin explaining my plan. Yeah. Okay. So, I see that these can get crates through. Uh, can get crates through the barrier. If we hide out in one of those crates and possibly steal a guard unit. For. We might be able to sneak you guys onto it. However, there is the possibility that you will be smashed 
horrifically between the crate and the uh, between the space in the crate and the air barrier. Uh, I'm gonna switch that thought around in my mind. Does that sound plausible? <laughs> um, are you asking as Elise or Lamb? <laughs> Uh, I'm asking as Elise, because she knows what this is. Just like, I don't know, would that work? <laughs> it would not. This thing repels people. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, you'd be, you'd yeah, be turned Zaddy into spam. In his own way, is to, like, rolls a pebble towards it, sees nothing happen. Oh. Yeah, no, we we need a new plan. Stop the stop the crazy bastard music. This isn't, this just isn't going to work. Interesting. <laughs> I, I hold, want... on, hold on, hold on. Now I've got all kinds. Of... Okay. Oh, even this How close, close huh? do you get? How close do you get? Could I theoretically get? mash if myself in here it? and shimmy? If you want to, <laughs> if you want to try and touch it, like get close enough to rub against it, you're gonna need to roll me a strength check. He's and a trying DC to 18. shimmy. I just, I just no, want to mash myself against it and then just use my raw strength to shimmy down. <laughs> All right, now we can, now we can play the crazy bastard. Okay, <laughs> going, give me that strength to, check. You going to smash it? All right, let's see. So I got a plus five to my strength. Let's do this. Ah! Damn it! I saw that nineteen. <laughs> You get slammed over uh, into the rocks here. <laughs> Fall back down. Uh, is <laughs> really what we are doing? They, there may be some some valuable combat applications to this barrier. I'm not I'm not going to lie. Oh, Yam Yamcha sure. in crater. We can blow the frog into the mountain and it dies instantly. <laughs> we, have, we have forgotten about no. Yeah, so this this all's looking like the worst case scenario imaginable. If we want to get onto this ship, we may very well need to ask for permission. And oh. that just goes against the whole point. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. This isn't impossible yet. I see that the... I be, look, give, give me one second. I, I go over here. Oh, not not like there, there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 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 I go to the point where I'm close enough that I start to like feel it a little bit, uh. but I mostly just do it so that I can look uh, way over here uh, and see that the barrier does in fact have an end point. So uh, we could get around these two. Oh, well, you know what? I feel like we're 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 looking for a. A, a really good excuse to go against the spirit of Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> and not fight the frogs. So you know what? Let's just go. Let's get back on the railroad. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> we we should really we should really you know I I am a doctor. I should probably go fight the frog. <laughs> oh right, yeah. No, we're we're being insane. I, I am. A, I I'm glad that you all figured it out. <laughs> I'm we just glad. took a little bit of. Wait a minute. Oh, f come on! No, please. Mm. Mm. Uh, let me let me take a look at some something real quick. Oh my God, we can do it. <laughs> <laughs> he's in, he's you high on it. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. What is it? it? How steep is this cliff? Um, it's not super steep. It's like a uh, fifteen foot drop. So easy. 50 and foot then, drop. And then how like, high how high is this building up from this surface right here? Oh, from that surface, probably on an, probably about 20 feet. 20 feet. Anyone got rope? Oh, I I have I have rope. I have arrows that 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 I, I can attach the rope to and go pew. Fantastic. That is brilliant. Uh, so, we can just climb up, we get over here, to this side, right here, we sneak past the guards, and then we drop down here, which would be a, probably actually a significantly higher drop. How, how, how high is that? From, uh, in, from the, the sand to, uh, to the... Like the... From the sand to the roof is 35 feet. Well, I'll be fine. Um, <laughs> and, I can, and I can catch all of you except for no. Uh, uh, hold, let me, I'm good, oh, I'm gonna look at my spells, <laughs> do I, I have fucking anything? Yeah, do you have Featherfall? 
Oh, if you I have Featherfall, we don't even have to worry about it. I super don't have Featherfall. Do I have Featherfall? I have Jump. <laughs> Jump's pretty good. I, you know what? I can at least make a sphere of darkness so no one can see us eating shit. Awesome! That's, that's even better. Use that to stealth past the guards. So... <laughs> yeah, we could we could totally get on this boat, guys. Fuck I... the spirit of D&D, let's go. <laughs> off this island. Uh, pretending I, I don't know. I don't know about. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, hold on. There's still we've still got some sunlight. Tell you what, shelve this plan. We'll ruin the spirit of D&D later. Oh no, we got we got darkness. <laughs> <laughs> it's been like this whole it time. Sorry. It is as good a time as any. It's dark outside. Like you're right. Still, the now, night is on our side. Now I am. I normally I'm all for <laughs> stupid shit like this. And like, man, in particular, this sounds fun. But like, I we, if we you, if we you steal have... if we steal that ship, we're gonna be like on military lists and stuff. And I thought you were going to say something, like, morally correct, like, <laughs> if we steal this ship and abandon these people, are we really any better than this general? <laughs> no, you... <laughs> people is thinking in his head, but no! No, <laughs> no, are you kidding me? No, this is just too high profile. This is too high profile for no. I'm a doctor. Moral correctness means nothing to me. <laughs> I'm already having these thoughts. Already knowing that she can't convince anyone here, except maybe Zad, who is assumedly already on her side is just rubbing her temples sitting on this fucking uh sitting on these stairs and just waiting <laughs> yeah i bet dyer was really hoping that nova and elise would not be crazy <laughs> uh-huh i'm sorry i have lost my mind it fell it I left it somewhere on the boat. <laughs> I mean, if... Uh, it got knocked I mean, loose when you crashed into me. <laughs> I I do want to not just, like, leave everybody to die and stuff and everything, but if the yes. frog really is unkillable, having the backup plan isn't bad. <laughs> no right. one's on your side, Dyer. <laughs> All right. <look. laughs> no, 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 no. no. Oh, it's killable. We gotta get out somehow. <laughs> Listen, Dyer poked, poked up. Yes, but also the backup. She just flops. She flops. <laughs> Listen, here's here's the deal, right? Mm -hmm. We steal the military ship, which is gonna mean that we're one thousand percent gonna be hunted down by military officials, if and only if. But I gave them our. Uh, we can't do that. All right, we don't have go. to steal the whole ship, just bits of it. Just bits, bits and pieces. It doesn't have to be a giant heist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the very least, give us some bargaining power with the military. Yeah, absolutely. If, if, like they had to, if they had to come to us for parts of their ship. Yeah, I could take their whole damn engine block if that's what we want to do. <laughs> but, uh... Let's... Well, it would it would keep them on the island uh, long, long, uh, longer and that would enable them to provide more assistance to the people of the village. In fact, they wouldn't really have a choice. How would they get the letter off the island without the boat? <laughs> Tell you what, we're all clearly completely insane right now. Let's take a walk and come back to this thought later. <laughs> I'm just saying, we've got an opportunity. And and oh it, will honestly, it will honestly, truly, if, if we are really worried about this frog, it is the best chance we have at uniting the village and the military. <laughs> In spite. We fuck over everyone. <laughs> if we fuck oh. over everyone, they'll unite oh, against us. <laughs> a semi opaque oh, flag depicting a frog and like the not sign over it appears behind Nova. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The, towns, the townspeople in the military decide that they're going to side with the frog to defeat us. <laughs> <laughs> we can uh, pull back up the ramp inside. Yeah, yeah we'll let's go back inside. Let's get. Let's that get was fun. Here. That was some fun thinking. Some fun <laughs> hypotheticals, maybe. I mean, we could do it. It's just you know, I'd prefer to not that be was, hunted. You were, you were... 
Is, you, y- y- y'all were not thinking hypothetically. There was bloodlust in your eyes. Nova, are you sure that you are not, in some level, a pirate yourself? I'm not a pirate. I've never stolen a ship. But you were taking you that were... away from me. <laughs> you, you, yeah, no, you, you see. <laughs> I, I, in a hypothetical world where we make different, where every decision you make creates another universe. There is a universe out there where I am very quickly on my way to becoming a pirate right now. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, we might still enter that world. Nova, Literally, if no, there's a no, no. route onto that boat that is less trouble, I'm all for it. <laughs> no, I mean, all we have to do is a little bit of climbing. Dr. Nova Fascato, truly on his Breaking Bad Walter White type <laughs> shit. <laughs> Yo, Mr. Right. White, we have to steal this airship. No, he's the Jesse Pinkman in this reality. <laughs> <laughs> he can't keep what? getting away with it. it. Do you see what reality you are depriving our viewers of? <laughs> <laughs> she got in that bath and was like, I deserve better. I deserve their ship. Fucking is on that good bath shit. <laughs> Where we at? Where we at? Hold ping on, ping hold a on. brother. I'm, oh, pull, God. I'm pulling you out. I'm revealing. Uh. Alright, let's find the entrance to this mine so we can have a good stopping point. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. It is massive down here. I guess that should be expected, but like. Oh, the sand is back. <clears throat> it had to come from somewhere. Does everybody have a You looked suit? where it may perhaps have come from, just up ahead. The entrance to the mine. Although from here, you can already tell it's been caved in, barricaded, basically blocked off in any way, shape, or form that they could have. Hmm. That well, one that's already using his noggin. Surely he has a plan to just smash through all of this. Uh, I mean, I could start digging. <laughs> oh, come on. That's that's weak sauce. You can do better than that. Aren't, not, Pick, picks up this... Have- Picks up the sledgehammer. Don't you people have magic? Uh, I've got <laughs> magic, but I'm not exactly packing a whole lot of a uh, whole lot of powerful stuff here. A lot of my stuff's for uh, not getting seen, that kind of thing. You mm. swing the hammer, and it erupts into a bit of cloud that kind of moves around. And some of it like, kind of like attaches to you, and you feel your clothes kind of like move with it a bit. It's mm. an interesting sensation. <laughs> Magilium's not explosive, is it? Didn't we have this discussion? It already? is not. <laughs> it is other other minerals that are. <clears throat> hey now. Yeah. You remember where the priest was storing the explosives in here? Uh. I'm I'm trying to rack my brain. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this as an excuse to roll my negative intelligence. And I guess that would be wisdom, though, wouldn't it? Uh, no, it's intelligence. This was the plan. <laughs> Hope y'all are ready. This was always the plan. <laughs> For a negative this... one. Hey, what are I... hey? No, you you scan your brain and you get like a a wire rig 3D map of the schematics of this building. <laughs> have a, have Jimmy a Jimmy Neutron, Neutron brain, brain blast. blast. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Love how deep and guttural that yeah was for Jimmy Neutron <laughs> brain blast. Yeah. Oh, yeah, um, Jimmy. And, and you're... <laughs> And where's the explosives, Jimmy? Where's the explosives, Jimmy? <laughs> um, I want to commit terrorism. Uh, oh, no. Inside, we found a DVD copy of Planet Sheen. <laughs> <laughs> My God, a relic! Uh, and as as what you recall is, the the bombs were actually placed in support. Uh, support beams in caverns underneath the the refinery uh kind of that hold up the foundation of the building itself 
So if those, if you can find a way in there and blow those, this whole building goes down. Well, that's not really the plan. <laughs> that would make a solid distraction. <laughs> and then we can steal their boat that's under a pile of rubble. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be under a pile of rubble. Well, I guess it would be under a pile. It would probably land on us, actually, if I'm doing my mental ma- my mental. And you have right. really rotten luck with that. Yeah, that's true. The boat is actually right above us as we speak, if, if my, uh, my mental math is... is... Alright, never mind. Now... <laughs> I know I'm a big, I know I'm big and strong and stuff, but like, if we all start digging, we can get through this sooner, or we go get the explosives. Oh, you're absolutely right. Continues to sit here. (laughs) (laughs) Tell you what, I'm not a, I'm not a white collar bitch, so I will actually help you on like these layabouts. (laughs) Hurry up, get layabouts! Okay. I'm sorry, I, st- I just thought back. we were still in the plan stage and not the do stage, okay? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> By the way, try not to inhale too much megelium. It's not toxic, but it's also not oxygen, so, you know, keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's not oxygen and it's not oxygen, then what is it? It's, it's megelium. <laughs> oh, hello, what's that? Oh, okay. Whoa, what's that? This thing comes by and it starts sucking up loose bits. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's a Roomba. It wow. is. It's a. It's a air sky Roomba. <laughs> oh my God, sky Scooba. Roomba. Oh, Scuba. Scuba. Any chance you'll clear the rubble for us, buddy? <laughs> 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 I would have, I would have, I would have personally loved to see any chance you'll clear the room for us, buddy. It attempts to do so. It sucks in too big of a rock. It explodes, <laughs> causing more rubble. <laughs> Hold on. Is okay. This is gonna take a while. Is there's gonna be like a drill or something around here? And looks and I'm, I see. I spy a door here, over in the bottom left. In the I'm gonna, bottom I'm gonna, left. I'm gonna. Ah, uh, yes. Open this door. You open this door, and I'm going to reveal oh, this no, area. Open this door here. Uh, you open this door. Uh, yeah. You see uh, the building. Uh, you see more refinery. I'm, that's not the reveal tool. There it is. Oh, there's uh, a door over there. I revealed everything except that. Okay. Good job, champ. Wow. Pretty cool door. Big. Hey, there's some big heavy equipment in here we might be able to use. Is it equipment that can move? Uh. Does it look like any of this can can move? move? If you're serious enough about it. It depends on how hard we want to, how hard we can swing these things. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, no, this all looks like it's pretty built in. Door number three, then. Uh, you find some stairs back up. Boring. Uh, okay. Stairs back up. Where would that lead? Probably back to up. the other side of the building. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, so that's that's an area we haven't been in yet. Do you think that it would be another long hallway, kind of like the one that we just came in with? Like, oh, certainly. A, a similar side room full of yeah. tools and equipment that we could probably steal? Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. What is the likelihood that if, while everyone else was exploring, if nothing stayed down here and just kept digging, what's the likelihood that I could get this done in any kind of time? I mean, there's a um, shovel. There's, there's a, a shovel, shovel right there. Oh, well, now it's already going to take 20 minutes. <laughs> you're a big guy. It could take, like, a few hours. You could probably get it done. Do um, you do you have an enhancement bonus to your strength? Do you have, like, a belt or something? Uh, yeah, I've got, uh... So I'm 18 naturally, and then there's a plus two from my belt of giant strength. Okay, so I could bull strength you, but that only gets you plus two. I could bull strength destiny, though! (laughs) (laughs) 
enhancement bonus and has a 16. Okay. If you enhance Destiny and you are both down here digging, you could probably get it done within like an hour or two hours. All right. I mean, I'm I'm fine to just sit down here and dig if you guys want to go look for stuff. Just uh, don't forget we're here, I'm, I suppose. <laughs> we could he says that forget you, Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds Destiny right. snips and chitters. You can't... Uh, you were having a rage moment earlier. You can outlet the rage to the rocks. <laughs> Don't Destiny worry. outlets this the rage. Healthy. Destiny healthy. starts shoveling rocks. <laughs> Don't, Don't worry. worry. You have my solemn word that I will forget nothing. On the water. <laughs> Destiny <laughs> eats these floating rocks. <laughs> nothing laughs. This is why and this then is he realizes why and goes, Oh... <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love Destiny here with you. Zadkiel will never forget Destiny, so by extension, we'll come back for you. You'll, you'll like, all come back, and then we're like, alright, let's go check on Destiny. Oh! Oh, yeah! Nothing's yeah, here! Yeah! You're here! <laughs> nothing's here. <laughs> How many run-ins of nothing stupidity until, I'm, until Dyer is allowed to have him forcefully ingrained on her memory. The Scoomba starts getting in nose lane. <laughs> I mean, you all collectively, like, have a better shot at remembering no than anybody else does. You've hung out with him for a while. It's mm. just not easy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think Zed and Dyer have a better chance. But, you know, I think Zed, like, needs to have his memory jogged adjacent to no. You know, like, Oh yeah, then we go check on Destiny and no. Yeah, <laughs> like you just need an ex. You just need a sentence lead in. Most other people would just be like, "Wait, did we leave someone digging down there?" <laughs> no, yeah, Zed needs like a lead in to remember. Where we at? Where we at, gamers? Uh, let me know if you can see. Oh, it. I don't know if it revealed properly. It didn't. No. It didn't. Okay. Hold yes. On. There we go. There we are. He's not in this scene. Can I get a- oh, there you are. More tools! Symmetry! More tools to fix the ship with and not help no dig! <laughs> oh, wait a minute now. Okay. I'm... I don't think my plan has completely gone just yet. <laughs> you feel a shoulder. You feel an arm on your shoulder. <laughs> huh? Oh, hello, Dax. Stop How can thinking. I help you? Stop thinking. Sorry, I'm a doctor. That's what I do. I do a lot of thinking. I don't want you to think about this anymore. <laughs> oh, is there another bathroom? Oh, oh, Elise! Oh, what did I do? <laughs> Why did you crush her? <laughs> I squished her. Dyer's words echo, there's a time and a place for everything, but not now. <laughs> well, shit. It okay. seems like there's just uh just more yep. of the same on this side. We're probably Copy just gonna paste. have to help probably just gonna have to help Destiny digging by doing wait. it the hard way. Wait, or you wait, could wait, look wait, around wait. the rest of the facility. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Wait, before we no, start no. thinking of crazy things like that, uh <laughs> <laughs> There is the, the staircase bath. over here. There's a bath. It calls to you. I, there is a bath. I, I I put that together in my brain already. Uh, <laughs> but there's also those stairs back on the other side of the building. We haven't looked up those. Like I'm just trying to find a clean way to end the stream. <laughs> and uh, I I can find the cleanest way to end the stream. <laughs> <laughs> just run. <laughs> you're you're right, Nova. Let's go this way, and then we'll very easily be able to get you out of this pool. I'm confident of that. <laughs> <laughs> what will All happen the filth next of time? The mind washes away. No, but Nova goes in and the general is sitting in the bed. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> I thought I told you I didn't want to see you again. <laughs> Life takes us many strange places. Life has many doors, Ed boy. <laughs> <laughs> what will happen next time on Beyond Horizon? Let's uh <laughs> let's let's have a fancy looky loo at uh a little beyond horizons imager. We got two pieces of fan art. Ooh.
Oh, what? there's a couple things. Well, hold on. Before... Roop's the big winner! Before we it. do that, real quick, we have a protocol that we go through. Hey, uh, hey, you there, viewer. Uh, in case somehow you've stumbled upon this and you're not aware of our general shtick, we have a Discord. Consider joining it if you haven't already. Uh, it's our it's our community hub, and it's where, it's where fan art gets posted, and it's where the weekly schedule comes out. Uh, speaking of that fan art, sounds like we have some. Let's take a look at it. Yeah. It's also probably going to be available here in the description of the YouTube channel if it you are will, watching. It on will that. be there as well. We have right. an Imgur. We have an Imgur. So first up from six, so much, we've got. Uh, oh, thank you so much, Peter. Uh, Peter GSC for for setting up the Imgur. Ah, yeah. yes, of course. Appreciate it. So much. Thank you. And uh, first up in that album made by Peter is uh, Zed Kill by Six. It's, it's a boy. Little Zed. Yeah, yeah, boy, boy, boy. Boy. A charming little Zad. Thank you so much, Six. He looks wonderful. And uh, next up is from <laughs> WarioFan63. Oh, yes. And over here we have the complimentary salad bar. Destiny, no! Dear God, quickly! We must protect the vegetable crisper! Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a monster. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, thank is, you very uh, much, Derek. That is what we got this time around. And Nubby, thank you so much for running this. Yeah. Wow, it was my absolute delight mm. thank you guys so much for being here you guys truly make this game worth running you are the only reason this game is running is because you're running it so thank you so much for doing that for us yeah, yeah. appreciate it thank you and thank, thank you for putting up with our hazing for help next time <laughs> it's, fun. it's all fun we're friends <laughs> right? right? We're friends, right? We, we are. Like I'd, like to, sleep at night. I'd like to make a confession. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks so much for running it. Thanks thanks to my friends for being here. And chat, thank you so much for being here as well. Thank you for subscribing, making art, doing whatever it is that you do. Just being here at all means the absolute world to us. Thank you so much for being here this time. And thank you for being here next time. Say goodbye to chat, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Toodles.